What's up everybody and welcome back to another stream. So, last time we uh, guarded both ends of our kingdom, empire, whatever. And now we're heading back to make plans to continue the war. A uh, level of all the characters I have not grinded at all. <laughs> In case you were wondering, I did not grind. That means that everyone is still at the same level as they were before. 45 for Yordi, because that's the character we use the most. Edelgard's 36, Huber's 35, Ferdi, 35, 35. The characters that we're most likely going to be using are all 35 and above. Uh, everything that is extra is also 35 and above. Balthus is the only one from the... Uh, people that I recruited during everything that is probably going to be used most because he's our grappler slash punched mages in the face. <clears throat> so yeah, and since we did all the talkie talks last night before ending the stream, we can pretty much go into the next main mission, which, which is unique you headed to? in think, I feel, oh wait, we do have one extra mission. Ooh, hmm. Yeah, let's go to that paralogue. Windows level 33. We should be fine. Everyone is level 30 at least. Ignatz Victor reporting, Your Excellency. <clears throat> oh. Yes, yes, come in. Greetings, Your Excellency. I think you're supposed to say, forgive my intrusion. Right, yes. Forgive me, Your Excellency. Listen, Ignatz, I may have a title now, but you and I are still friends as we have always been. All this formality is starting to make my skin crawl. Please, just treat me the same as ever you have. Oh, right, of course. Anyway, what do you need? You've no doubt heard about the bandits who appeared in Gloucester, yes? The ones who were supposedly former mercenaries. They've been around for a while, right? Yes, my men have been searching for their base for some time now, and I believe they have finally located it. I took the opportunity to look into the provenance of these bandits anew. It seems they were indeed a mercenary band. One in the employ of my father. I... See. For some reason, they have abandoned the cell sword life and fallen into banditry. But why would they do that? I do not know. I attempted to discuss it with my father, but his only concern at present is finding me a proper spouse. <coughs> when I ask, he evades me and changes the subject. Hmm, yes. That's quite the conundrum. Regardless, I cannot ignore these bandits, especially if my father had something to do with them. Thusly, I have decided to deal with them myself, and I was hoping you might join me. Of course. I'm a Knight of House Gloucester, after all. Good. Oh, and as it would be a rather tall order for the two of us to take on a gang of brigands alone, I have called in some additional support. Hey, your lords. I came as soon as I could. Just once, I wish one of my acquaintances could split the difference between absurd formality and dire nonchalance. I am a count now, you know. Wait, so are we not friends because you're a count? No, what I meant to say is... Look, enough with the titles. I'm a busy man, so let's get moving already. <laughs> I will have you know, a noble is nothing without their... Oh, never mind. I asked you here because I need your help dealing with bandits in my territory. That's it? Well, sure. I'm happy to help. <laughs> that was easy. I suppose it does indeed pay to have some true friends in one's corner. Sure does. Besides, if just you and Ignatz try to do it, you're gonna get kicked into next moon. <laughs> 
have you ever considered not saying the first thing that pops into your head? The two of us could easily handle this matter. I am simply being prudent. Also, these are not some run-of-the-mill ruffians, but rather highly trained former mercenaries. Right, the old mercenary to bandit career path. They have some connection to my father as well, so I would like to uncover what we can in the process. You got it, boss. If we fight and win, I'm sure some info will turn up on your old man. I am not certain I follow your logic, though I suppose it would be the preferred outcome. Now then, we should be off. With my subjects in peril, there is not a moment to waste. We will depart as soon as you are ready. I'll take my payment in meat, please. I shall tell the kitchen to prepare a ham. <laughs> My back itches, and the thieves routed. Yeah, I think we'll be fine. Fight. 10 minutes, 1200 kills. Hear me well. Now it is my turn. There is nothing I cannot do. I think this will go. I'm prepared to see this through. All right. You as long as I keep brigands. everyone. I, Lawrence Hellman Gloucester, stand in judgment before you. So, not to be a jerk, but when you stand up and scream your name like that, it prevents us from launching any kind of sneak attack. House Gloucester has no need of such dishonest trickery. If our foe is asleep, we kick out their pillow before the battle begins. Firstly, let us deal with the bandits outside the base. Easy. I shall not permit you to wreak any more havoc within my borders. These guys don't look like just bandits. Interesting. Now it is my turn. There is nothing I cannot do. All right. Here I go. Why don't you hang back and let us handle it? Do not cut. I am more than capable of holding my own against this type of curse. They look like a bunch of guys who slither in the dark. Now that I think as uh, we're near the place where Claude's grandfather met his end, aren't we? Indeed, I think you are correct. Could this group perchance have some connection to that most unfortunate incident? Job ignorance. I guess. Pray point out everyone you recognize. You do realize that not every mercenary knows each other, right? Okay. That is enough for the soldiers outside. Let us proceed to attacking the base. the good name of Lawrence Hellman Gloucester. Okay, let's see. Um, zoom out. You're going this way. Oh, Raphael. Right. Here I go. There's nothing these muscles can't do. Now it is my turn. You're going this there way. Nothing I cannot. I think this will go well. 
I'm prepared to see this through. Our marauders shall terrorize my subjects no longer. Gloucester. Let's get out of here before we get beat to a pulp again. We let these folks go. They'll just cause more trouble somewhere else. Let's track them down. You ready? My mother and father died not too far from here. That was a long time ago now. They were merchants, yes? Yeah. They were traveling with the old Duke Regan and got attacked by monsters. The old Duke Regan. I'll take you all on. During the period when my father employed these mercenaries, monster attacks were a rather common occurrence in this region. And these monsters took the lives of both the former Duke Regan and Raphael's parents. Attention, Lawrence. You keep staring off into space. Some bandit's gonna run up and conk you on the head. Yes, of course. I must focus on the battle at hand. Four minutes, 620. Down. Halfway through. That's good. Pretty good for a scrawny merc. Did you just call me a scrawny merc? Raphael, you... Bloody Pingus. This guy. I think this will go well. We're taking this guy. All right. Here I go. This guy, I'm gonna dash. Perhaps they have another escape route in mind. To the upper one. Oh, you ready? F of my awakening, but who cares in the end? Say that again, no escape. Raphael defeated the thief. Good job. Like a real knight now, not? You used to be so scrawny. I think everyone looks scrawny compared to you, Raphael. It's not wrong. Let's see, do we send Raphael somewhere? No, we'll just let him do whatever the fuck he wants for now. left.
prevented the bandits from retreating. Defeat conditions have changed. Oh, that's a party. Let's see. I think this will go well. I'm prepared to see this. All right. Here I go. Um. All right. Here I go. Nice. And you. Oh, Lawrence. Now it is my turn. There is. I <laughs> You guys are too weak to stop me anyways. Vengeance against my father. Whatever was driving these people. Okay, let's see. We'll send me that way. Oh. Not a problem. Move out. Not a problem. Move out. Not a problem. That's true. Jesus. I've got this. Interesting. I am troubled by this development. But as the ruler of this domain, I must do my duty and eliminate these bandits. Activated the lista. We have to do something. All right, here I go. There's nothing. Yeah. Take a breather. Not a problem. This is Might just the beginning. Be glad, for Lawrence Hellman Gloucester sings your praises. Say, Raphael? Keep quiet and fight, it does. He's got the serious business. I think this will go well. I'm prepared to see this through. Now it is my turn. There is nothing I can None shall see my turn. Okay. Oh, wrong attack. way. Accept your defeat. Now let us bring it down. Level up. Not a problem. I've got you. I've got you. Wait, you claim my father betrayed you? You just to throw us away like trash, you did. You my tried to make us disappear so as to sweep it under the rocks. <laughs> ah, non S rank. Sad. Oh, 
understand what has transpired here <sighs> we did it we won meet party when we get home and Lawrence is buying you all go on ahead I must speak with the bandit we kept said 15 seconds over I won't let This power with killing edge sixty five, not good enough. <laughs> not good enough. There you are, Lawrence. That took so long. I thought maybe that bandit general got you. We had much to discuss, which I will share with all of you now. Did you uncover the reason for their grudge against your father? Indeed, as we suspected, they were once mercenaries in his employ. At first, they were used in the ways one might think, keeping villages safe, guarding the border, and so on. But one day, they were given a very strange order by a supposed envoy of my father. What was the order? They were told to threaten any merchants heading toward Regan and force them to turn back. Yeah, that's a weird one, all right. The mercenaries felt the same and balked at the idea of raising their swords against unarmed merchants. Instead, they decided to chase a pack of wild monsters into the merchants' path and scare them that way. Sounds like a good way to get everyone killed. Indeed, you see the matter already. The plan worked, at first. Then one day they caught wind that merchants were approaching and loosed monsters on them per the established method. An ordinary group of merchants would have simply run away and lived. But one among this group drew his sword and began to fight. This was Lord Godfrey who at the time held the title of Duke Regan. He fought valiantly, but ultimately in vain. Sadly, he perished along with the merchants he had hoped to protect. Merchants that included Raphael's parents. So the former Duke Regan and Raphael's parents all died because of your dad, Lawrence? So it would seem. I am terribly sorry, Raphael. Please. Accept my apology in my father's stead. Hey, knock it off. You didn't do anything wrong. As it happens, my parents were meant to accompany Godfrey that day. But they had a scheduling conflict and recommended that Raphael's parents go instead, which means... Not you too, Ignatz! Look, everybody. Kids aren't responsible for what their parents do. Lawrence, do we know for sure that the order came from your father? I was wondering the same thing. Your father was always protective of the nobility's reputation, and it seems strange he would do something so sneaky, and so anti-merchant besides. Based on what the bandit said, I suspect it was someone from our house acting alone. By the time my father realized what was happening, the culprit had vanished, along with any hope of ever sussing out their true motives. Only the mercenaries remained, and my father had no choice but to punish them. I bet they didn't care at all about what happened behind the scenes. Far as they were concerned, their employer betrayed them. But I don't get how any of this has to do with you right now, Lawrence. A feudal lord is responsible for all that happens within their realm. Therefore, anything left unresolved by my father falls by necessity to me. I would also like to pay appropriate reparations to both you and your family, as is fair and proper. But I don't need anything from you. 
I can take care of my family plenty well on my own. Besides, I made my peace with what happened to my folks a long time ago. You can't change that now. All you can do is stir up a bunch of old, painful memories. Yes, but still. But nothing. I'm done talking about this. I'll still take my reward for beating up the bandits, though. Meat party, remember? You promised me the finest ham in all the land. And just thinking about it's got me drooling. This does not sit right with me. What should I do? Yes, you already this game. Good. I don't think there's anything else you can do. If you keep at it, you'll just make Raphael upset. Same goes for you, Ignatz. Right. How are you today, Zilar? Well. In that case, I shall arrange for the finest spread of meat the world has ever seen. I stake House Gloucester's very reputation <laughs> on it. <laughs> I understand that That's feeling. That's the right thing to do. Still feels a little weird to leave it like this, but I guess this is for the best. An aching back, also hot as fuck. That's it. <clears throat> Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its You know how much for how much I got this game? Zillar. Close, forty five. Don't forget, it's a physical copy as well. <laughs> Indeed. I'm glad we have returned to Enbar. Nice. It's far warmer than the kingdom, for one. How are you doing, your majesty? I hope you've been getting some rest, at least. It seems you never stop working Same. unless someone physically pulls you away from it. I've been getting more rest than Hubert, at least. We're here in the gardens, chatting, are we not? Fair enough. And so I'm clear, even a sliver of your time is a blessing beyond all measure. They're only gonna get more expensive by the years, mate. ...than Hubert for how hard you work. This is the part where you nobles all crowd around a table slurping on tea, right? Seems like a good enough way to unwind a bit. Tea? Just happy to get I it all. I wouldn't mind were it just myself and Her Majesty. Hmm? What's happening in the throne room? Hubert, what's wrong? Intruders in the palace, Your Majesty. They entered through one of the secret passages and are even now attempting to hunt you down. I sent soldiers to intercept them. We should be prepared for anything. Do you think it's those who slither in the dark? I know not. But they could not have breached that passage without assistance from the inside. Though there are only a few who know of that passage, and would be capable of acting as a guide. Your Majesty, might you kindly step this way? Hubert, do you really think he would do that? Oh, are you guys actually looking at me? You're not getting away! This shall be your grave intruder! You 
simpleton! Were you trying to annihilate me as well? Thanks to you, the assassin made their escape! As though one of your paltry skill would have caught such elusive prey in the first <sighs> place. What matters now is that we give pursuit. All trespassers must be felled without mercy. Hubert really thought that I was the one that let them in. What a fucking amazing bullshit. Edelgard's route. We can't actually use Edelgard. Persuade Shamir. Anti archer training. Worse. That's the plan all along. <laughs> okay, so we can't use Edelgard. So we're not going to use Raphael for our. Yes, mistress. I'm a um, Where is Bolthus? That is fine. Lorenz is too low level for this. We want Dorothea. No, no, Dorothea. Uh, Dorothea. Spellcaster? Sure. Let me think, actually. Do I need. No, I need you to swap with Ferdinand. Okay. At least none of the characters here is as skimpy dressed as Olivia. Fire. <laughs> Fire Emblem Warriors. Yep. That was Shamir. Okay, so Hubert and are not available. Count Hevering. Must be a reason why he's suddenly on the map. Oh, if I must. This should be Sign easy. Sign Monica. I will gladly handle this. A sign a Judens. It's Bernie's time to I'm gonna help, okay? So what should I be doing again? Need a hand? Okay. Now let's see. What does the field look like? Definitely, Yordi is going up north. Ferdy is going this way. Leave this to me. Not a problem. I've got this. Dorothea, you're just gonna dash Thank over you. this way, and you it. are going sure. to slam just duck and dunk me. this area. Which means the attackers. They must be the Knights of Saros' assassins. We must protect Her Majesty with everything we have. Stop the enemy incursion. Seal up those entry points before reinforcements arrive. It's not over, Lady Edelgard. I must ask that you remain in the throne room where it will be easier to defend you and predict enemy movements. As that your protection will require my full attention, I will remain here at your side. I will capture this stronghold. Someone is dashing past, and I do not appreciate that. An assassin? Ferdy, you're going back to protect. Good 
jump all this. That's what I like to see. Taking care of the bishops. Okay, uh, you're the, you're going to attack this guy. In the meantime, Ferdy is gonna take care of these assassins. I miss the skimpy clothes. We need more skimpy clothes in life. Still working on that one. It's fine, take your time. Is there an archer actually moving? Found Shamir at least. The wolf in sheep's clothes. Leave this one to me. Let's get moving. Nope. Leave this one to me. Not Sure, whatever. Where's the Emperor? Just a little. I'm on it. No charge. Just the Lord will retake this section of the house. There's not a question of can, only a matter of will. Leave this to me. Take a breather. Smash that stronghold into rubble. Has captured that. Good. I guess it's now or never. See, do I have to worry about Edelgard here? Nah. They're all doing just fine. I like that Edelgard is actually the same level as that I left her. Which is super chill for missions like this. Instantly kill Shamir. <laughs> That'd be a waste of points. Good. You're not my target, which means you're wasting my time. I can't waste another minute. It's peered into the palace, cringe. Let's stay on guard. Over here! More intruders! Where? 
Ooh, nice. Okay, let me have a look at how I'm gonna send everyone. Uh Leave this one to me. That's you're going cute. this way. I'm on it. Just Real quickly, it to you two are gonna There's go after this archers. Leave this to me. A little bit too close for my liking to Edelgard. Uh and I'm gonna go south with Jordi. How much time do I have? 16 minutes. Okay. Assassins are advancing on Gate of Guard. Yeah, that's fine. That's why I sent everyone back. Taking control from Ferdinand's real quick here. This way, where is I'm on it. No charge. Balthus is going this Just way. Time to wreck stuff. Plum all the bishops. Okay, nice. No charge. Take a break. The emperor's head myself. Pose is a nasty threat. Dispatch her at once. Easy for not a problem. Ferdinand. We secured the fire orbs. Balthus, take out this bishop here. Okay, 
Okay. I'm sending Hubert back this way. I need to swatch him quickly to my guy. Bishop and allies have appeared. I will walk you to the Emperor's hiding place. No, you won't. I'm gonna end your tiny little army here. With one fell swoop. This one here. Uh, I'm gonna swap to Ball Nerd. That takes care of the rabble, which leaves us with the true problem at hand. I'm glad to take care of those reinforcements. The last thing I want is more work. Shamir reappearance. Will not escape our clutches this time. Defeat Shamir. I'm really keeping the heat on. All right, time for another approach. Enough of this. It seems clear the enemy won't come out of hiding until I. Edelgard is advancing. Oh no, Edelgard's why? Fine, we're sending Leave this one to me. you this way Why to where he would be. I'm the star now. <sighs> Can't figure out the way. Leave this, let's get moving. Leave this, let's get moving. Figured. Good that I didn't send Ferdinand anywhere yet. Leave this one to me. That's my cue. I am your man. Thankfully, Ferdinand's on a horse. I forgot that this game doesn't have horse mounting and speed rushing through it and while being able to hit things like actual Dynasty Warriors. Ambush just appeared. That's fine. I can handle that. Leave it to me. me all you want. Especially since they're all weak against mages. That should do for now. Of course she disappears again. Wyvern riders are attacking. Kick 
Catherine has appeared. Okay, now we're talking. There's not a question. Leave this to me. Uh, where am I? Here. You're sending me this way. Kill one of those motherfuckers ahead of time. And ready to walk the Emperor back to the throne room upon your command. Chest. Did I get enough kills yet? Yeah. Just need to grab the chest. You're taking a beating, Catherine. But don't worry, I've got your back. No, you don't. Not a problem. I've got this. I heard you quit the Knights of Seraphs yesterday. Oh, someone's done that research. Let us but yeah, forces. I'm just another mercenary now. Victory will be ours! I am Ferdinand von Iyer! And we make you an offer. Come work for us, and we will spare Catherine's life. Don't listen to him, Shamir! Persuade Shamir! That can't be good. Main mission changed. Run, Catherine. I'm staying. Don't make me drag you out of here, Shamir. Go before I kill you myself. Damn it. Catherine retreated. Good. We have a contract. The threat has been quelled. But we allowed them far too much leeway. The situation calls for careful reflection. Ooh, Catherine, Still, yeah. Saved my life, which means my path for the future remains intact. Thank you. Hubert, did you hear? My father has... vanished. Yes. We should have killed the dastard when we had the chance. All I can say is that I wished my father to be tried fairly, as is his noble right. But now it is clear that will never happen. I could excoriate you further, but we lack the time. We must get to the bottom of this, and quickly. The Knights of Seros descended on us with the fury I have rarely seen. In all that confusion, even a bear could have slipped away without raising an alarm. I would not go so far as to call them conspirators, but my father had many old friends in the palace. Some may have turned a blind eye, 
They should be found and questioned. I agree. That is one possibility. Well, there is another. Yes, well. Now that we have a fugitive on our hands, I intend to make full use of it. This situation affords us a chance to remedy another. If that is the beginning of a scheme, Hubert, you do a terribly poor job of veiling it. It is no concern of yours. Not yes. yet, at any rate. Right. Lovely. Always, well, Hubert. As long as whatever your planning has Edelgard's blessing and will be of aid to the Empire, I will brook no complaint. All will be revealed in time. I want Catherine. That means you're probably if you want Catherine, you're probably gonna need to side with the church, Sillar. The church? Yeah, the Knights of Sarals. I'm glad that I got this one at least at S rank. Shitty swords be shitty again. Money! Shamir is now playable. The secret passage they used was sealed off centuries ago. Yes, the palace floor plans failed to even show it. I'm shocked the church knew of its existence. In the age of Saros, the Empire and church were intimately related. It's safe to assume the central church took pains to retain its information from the time. I shudder to think what other inconvenient secrets they might be privy to. Books yes. are sweaty. Well, based on the scale of the attack, they must have seen this as their first and only chance. Ah, there you are. And they said you wanted to talk? Uh, yes. I believe I owe you an apology. Oh, yeah? What for? To be blunt, I thought you were with the enemy. I had you pegged for an informant, planted among us by those who slither in the dark. It was not an unreasonable assumption. What? You enter Her Majesty's life at the perfect time, allure her with your strength, and choose our house to study with. And oh, surprise! You have dark powers. It was all too much to dismiss as mere coincidence. It was at Hubert's suggestion that I appointed you captain of our mercenary unit. He felt this would allow us to quietly assess your abilities and allegiances, and I agreed. I know I told you I did this because I believed in you and your strength, but the decision was somewhat more nuanced than that. I'm sorry. The moment I got wind of this attack, I immediately thought of you. This is it, I thought. The traitor has sprung the trap, and now the Emperor's life is in danger. But instead, you thwarted the assassination attempt and kept Her Majesty safe. I was wrong about you. Deeply, Deeply so. so. And for that, and for I'm that, ashamed, I am ashamed beyond, measure. beyond measure. Pray forgive me. Don't worry about it. I would have done the same. Honestly, I thought it was weird how quick you both trusted me. Good to finally know the reason behind it all. That does not excuse our actions. We had no right to deceive you as we did. But I swear, we will make amends. You have but to let us know how. You can start by trusting me. 
Or, if that's not in the cards, have the decency to tell me you don't to my face. At least then I'll know where I stand. I doubt doing so would have changed anything. But I understand the sentiment. We of course you doubt it, Hubert. Going forward. Be better? Really? Hubert, why not just promise to be more forthright? Because that might make me a liar. <laughs> Let me speak plain. I no longer believe you to be working with the enemy. However, that does not necessarily mean the possibility is now non-existent. Well, I guess I did ask for honesty. But look, you... of course we trust you. Or I do at least. So please, let us begin this... Hmm. Hmm. It is now 1182. The great war Edelgard instigated has swept across Fodland and looks more grim with each passing day. The Empire struggles to hold Arian Road to the west and the Great Bridge to the east. The kingdom cannot bring western lands to heel. Even the Alliance must face changing times. The Central Church sends the Knights of Saros to the Imperial Capital to assassinate the Emperor, but fails. Roughly half a year passes before the tides show any true sign of shifting. Part 1. Finn? Nani? Scarlet Blaze. Shifting History. Five months have passed since the attack on the Emperor, and 1182 nears a close. Though each army schemes, the battle maps barely change. But now, history is about to resume its course. Today is a momentous day in Fodland's history that people will mark for generations to come. Then why do you look so conflicted? I'm not conflicted, Claude. I'm just painfully aware of how much stronger I need to be. That's why I'm counting on you and the Alliance to make up the difference. Hey, I've got feeling unprepared down to a science, so let's say we help each other out. If we work together, we can achieve what's best for both of us, right? Indeed. I have reviewed the terms, Your Majesty. All that remains is the placement of your seals. Everything looks good to me. I'm especially glad we found a solution to the control of murder. You've done fine work here, Hubert. Thanks. And thanks to you as well, Holst. You know I'm not good at this sort of thing. I've never known you to shy away from ceremonial affairs like this. But it is the most significant pact since the founding of the Leicester Alliance, so your caution was most prudent. <laughs> I must admit, I was quite nervous. Thankfully, I managed not to follow it up. Ugh. You surely jest. You did your work masterfully, without batting an eye. I am truly impressed that Leicester's most valiant general is so well versed in diplomacy. Don't be insulting, Hubert. Sir Holst is a duke. A man can be brave in battle and still know how to get things done. Take our Minister of Military Affairs, for example. A man for whom the term looks can be deceiving was likely invented. Hmm. Speaking of Count Burglies, where is he? I thought he'd be here so we could go head to head. We never did get to finish our battle. I'm afraid the Count couldn't make it, but perhaps you'd consider my bodyguard instead? I'm certain you'll find the challenge to your liking. Is this your first time meeting, by the way? It is. Well, friend, care to go around with me? They say this Holst character is the strongest man in Leicester. 
But is he as strong as the Ashen Demon? I wouldn't miss it for the world. Now that's what I like to hear. I hope you mean later and not this very second. It would be a shame to get blood all over this nice paperwork. Do you yes. think stronger is it learn? All eyes are on us. We must make this a grand gesture and show our soldiers that Adrestia and Lester have joined forces for a brighter future. Well, let's get to it. As leader of all the lords and knights who sit at the round table of the Lester Alliance, I, Claude Von Regan, hereby swear this. Good act. thing I never killed anyone in over Lester there, pledges to except for a few harmony with the Adrestian Empire that deserve to die. Everything in its power to secure a peaceful future for Fodlan. By the covenant between the red blood and the white sword that crowns the double-headed eagle. I, Edelgard von Hressfeld, hereby swear this pact. Adrestia pledges to work hand in hand with the Lester Alliance to deliver peace to the land and secure a future for all its people. The pact is sealed. And now it is our job to uphold it. Goodness, look how far you've risen. You're standing on the stage of history. I know you'll do great things. Yes, and greater things still. Right then, we've got plenty of bright new faces here at the round table today. First, a brand new Count ruling Gloucester. And Duke Goneril and Count Ordelia have decided that their heirs will sit for them. Unfortunately, Lawrence and Lysithia can't join us due to their responsibilities in the Imperial Army. I called you here to give you notice. The Leicester Alliance is assenting to the Empire's request and sending troops to the Kingdom Front. Houses Regan, Gloucester, and Daphnil will be supplying most of the soldiers. And instead of the usual route through Aelel, we'll be invading Fraldarius directly by sea. You're staying behind, right, host? Indeed I am. Almira is still an unknown quantity. And we've no idea if or when Prince Shahid might stage another attack. And the same goes for House Ordelia. They've had more than their share of troubles on their border. We agreed that shipping their army away might not be the most prudent of ideas. And that's all she wrote. You'll find the details in the document you've all been given. I wish the kingdom would see there between a rock named Adrestia and a hard place named Lester and throw that white flag high, but of course they won't. So good luck, everyone. I'm counting on you. I figured that the alliance and would have so been the easier the target. Has agreed to bring their troops to bear and attack the kingdom from the east to uh, make sure. At the same for time, more we peace will negotiations. Our invasion from the west using Aryan Road as a foothold. We'll subjugate the kingdom's lords one by one as we work our way toward Blaythen. News of the pact will doubtless have spread throughout the kingdom by now. Provided enough houses see the futility in fighting, we may be able to avoid unnecessary bloodshed. However, that is likely wishful thinking. We should instead expect the worst, and prepare accordingly. You think? Some of them already bent the knee to us once, along with Count Roe. Wouldn't they jump at a chance to swap sides again? An idea I am certain has already occurred to the King. Lately we have been scrambling to reorganize, dealing with an attack by the Knights of Seros, and negotiating a pact with Lester. And during that time, the winds of purgation have swept across Fargus. In one fell swoop, the king has expunged most of the nobles likely to align with us. Still, it's us and the alliance against him, which means we've got the advantage. What's there to worry about? The concern isn't that we'll lose, 
It's that winning might come at the cost of too many lives. What an utterly pointless, senseless thing to do. I find it, I find it very, draining. So very draining. Whatever our intent, we're the instigators here. We can't expect the enemy to do anything less than defend their land with tooth and claw. Speak for yourself. If someone invaded my territory, I'd hand over lands and titles on a silver platter. Especially if I had no chance of winning. There is truly no other noble like you, Renard. And perhaps no person at all for that matter. Regardless, we must proceed with caution. When people think someone is after what they possess, they respond with fear, even if the thought is all in their head. In the eyes of the people of Fargus, there is no limit to what evils the Empire might visit upon them. My father started saying he can't sleep, because he's scared the old church is coming to Garrick Mock to kill him. From the sound of my mother's letters, he's really shaken up. Remember that the kingdom has much coldness. We must not forget to be bundling up like people of the snow. Our Petra is always ready for what lies ahead. I wish I had better understanding of your Fodlin ways, so I could be giving more assistance to everyone. Don't worry about it, Petra. With all the different factions in this thing, even we have a hard time keeping it straight. <laughs> This almost seems so backward compared to the way things were in Bridget. In any case, the battles ahead will be more brutal than any we have yet fought. Keep a vigilant eye out for both yourselves and each other. That is all. Dismissed. Dismissed. Guess things aren't going to be so easy anymore. We're under some real pressure to win. Ooh, that's a big piece of land we need to capture. Whew. Nervous. Battalion boss. You can now acquire the following class at the training grounds. Asherah and Emperor. Can I exchange for Ride of Rarity? Ooh. <laughs> See me something about decisions she's making. <laughs> I carry a little of everything here. You've got an eye for quality, friend. Hope to see you again soon. Acquire class. Oh yeah, I still don't have that thing unlocked yet. Fuck. Supply master. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Okay. Uh, I need 10 of these. And then I need... This one, I guess. I mean, just, just to be safe, go check which one I need. So that I don't waste my uh, precious resources. Elite training gear, yeah. Let me know if I may be of further service. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Wait, elite training gear? Well, if it works, it works. If I, I fail, I fail. You just have to wait a little bit longer. Shit. 
Heck yeah, bro. That's what we want to see. Yordi going for the class. Ashura. Ooh, damn, my outfit looks dope as fuck, not gonna lie. Another tool in the Let me have a test run with my Ashura. The fight starts now. At least still looks the same. Let's wait with using the training points until I can get Edelgard to her last. Thing, Majingi. New sport conversations. Ooh. Can we finally waifu Edelgard? You. Of course. What is it? Well, remember how Hubert laid into me after the Knights of Saros raided Enbar? It got me thinking. What do I need to do for you to trust me again? Nothing. Hubert and I stopped doubting you the moment that business was behind us. You worked tirelessly for me, and I'm grateful for that. So please, there's no need to worry. Still, we have no idea when those who slither in the dark might try to interfere again. Honestly, it kind of feels like there's more I should be doing to help. Like I'm just floating around without a purpose or something. Very well. What do you propose? Hmm. If I had to pick something, I'd say protecting you would be my top priority. Everyone's got a bone to pick with you, especially the church and those who slither in the dark. And they won't rest till they have your head. After all, the Imperial Army's not gonna lose if we've got you at the top handing down orders. And I figure Hubert will stay off my back as long as I put my energy into keeping you safe. Then you can lead us to victory, and we'll all live trustfully ever after. <laughs> Perhaps, but I think you're forgetting something. The only way to protect me is by staying at my side. And therein lies a conundrum. Allowing you that close to me would in itself be proof of my trust, without which you would have never earned such an opportunity in the first place. I know that. Still, I can't help but feel like that's what I've got to do to prove myself to you. Please, Edelgard, even if it just means shielding you from your enemies. Hmm. Hmm. Very well. Do as you will. In the meanwhile, I'll tell Hubert... Well, I'm not entirely sure what I will tell him. At the very least, we know those who slither in the dark are able to shapeshift at will. So, in a way, it doesn't matter who I choose to surround myself with. They could just as well turn out to be someone wholly different. Thanks, Edelgard. I honestly could have sworn you were gonna say no. 
Of course. What I truly want to know is why you'd risk your life just to earn my trust. Do you really have to ask? You reshaped my entire life. Before I met you, I had nobody. I was nobody. But you still chose me, of all people, to command one of your armies. Now, I can't walk down the street without people yelling my name. And I've got a great life, surrounded by amazing friends. All of it possible because of you. Because of you. not true. You would not have earned this post if you lacked the talent. Maybe now, but before you came along, nobody in the Empire gave a Pegasus's backside about talent. You gave me a seat at the table when no one else would. Ah, I see. If you want proof you've changed the world, just take a look at me. Because this guy, he's a whole new person thanks to you. Dang it, can't wife her yet. <laughs> I don't want to go into the conversation with everyone else, because... Don't want to start the romance there. Perfect timing, Caspar. I was just looking for you. You were? Oh, I get it. You want to go a few rounds, huh? Fine, I'll take you down without even breaking a sweat. Well, no. I mean, okay, yes, at some point. But that's not what I'm here for. Your dad's around, right? I was sort of hoping I could get a session in with him. You know, a little lesson from the Minister of Military Affairs himself. Yeah, you might not want to do that. Why not? You're training with him, aren't you? Well, sure, but I've been doing that since I could barely even talk. And it still knocks my backside into next month. A regular person like you wouldn't stand a chance. What about this looks regular to you? Come on, I'm serious. Don't say I didn't warn you. You want my advice? Don't eat anything beforehand if you don't want to be cleaning it off your armor later. <laughs> oh, and uh, cancel all your plans for after, because I can guarantee you are not going to make them. Just keep that in mind, okay? Okay. <laughs> Come on, is it really that bad? I appreciate the advice, but I think I'll be fine. Hey, better to be ready than get blindsided by the pain. Trust me. Trust me, I'll I live it. <laughs> Training with my father? It's a marathon of blood, sweat, and tears that'll leave you feeling like you're face to face with the goddess herself. I mean, we've already done that, didn't we? Face to face with the goddess herself. Uh -huh. Hey, you still alive? I can't feel my legs. <laughs> There you go. You know, my father praised you. Nobody's ever kept up with him as long as you did. Apparently, he's gonna come up with even tougher training now. <laughs> and I, though I really wish he wouldn't. <laughs> I think I underestimated you, Caspar. I don't know how you can handle training like that every day. Getting used to it was kind of my only choice growing up. I mean, I'm not as clever as you, so I had to make up for it by being tough as nails. That's why I'm always so gung-ho about getting stronger. Though, I don't know if that's really the most efficient way to go about it. <laughs> <laughs> no, that training. Efficiency has nothing to do with it. I think I get where that unwavering focus of yours comes from now. <laughs> yeah? Well, in any case, I'm glad you're still alive and kicking. Our enemies aren't gonna know what hit them next time we get out on the battlefield. Yeah, all this suffering would have been for nothing if we don't get the results to back it up. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's a nice change of pace seeing you like this. <laughs> Please don't laugh at my pain. Hi, Hiko. How was your day today? <laughs> uh, okay, let's go talk to Bernie and uh, Petra. Oh, uh, hi. 
<laughs> a bit weird. That's good, I guess. I think. I'm sorry about what happened back there. Oh, it wasn't your fault. I'm the one who should be apologizing. I had to work today, so I woke up, got ready, worked half the day. Bad. I'm glad we managed to get you in front of the meanest looking guy in my company. But that didn't last long before the nerves got to you. Quickest I've ever seen someone run, let me tell you. And then I accidentally and then the got told tails, that I had a day off. Totally I switched place. a bit. <laughs> After half a day of work? Dude. Oh, you really did it this time, Bernie. Hey, we all make mistakes. Water under the bridge, you know? Yeah, thanks. Yeah, thanks. That aside, though, you still want to do something about your shyness, right? I can see why this is a bigger problem than your whole standing okay. doors thing. Your anxieties can be quite the hurdle to overcome. You're right. But hey, I haven't been keeping to myself at all lately. Bernie's out in the open. Either way, now we know how things turn out when we try to force the issue. Looks like we're better off taking an incremental approach. How's that work? Well, we can start by having you hide nearby while I talk to someone you're afraid of. <laughs> then, I don't know, if the conversation gets interesting, maybe you can come out and join in? I'm not going to care whether it's interesting or not. It doesn't matter if they're serious or boring or the most fascinating person in the world. All I care about is that they don't scare me. Yeah. Much rather work part time than full time. Be way own. less exhausted afterwards. Makes sense. Well, maybe the incremental approach won't actually be as hard as we think. Really? How do you figure? I mean, I did used to think you were pretty terrifying. But with all this stuff we've been doing together, I've actually gotten used to you. And now I'm not really shy around you, am I? <laughs> Wait, she was afraid of me? I'm glad to hear you say it. I'd honestly be kind of sad if you were still afraid of me after all we've been through. Sounds like getting you used to people is the way to go after all. Maybe you just have to spend a lot of time with someone before you get really comfortable. Yeah, I think that's it. Anyway, here's hoping you and I can keep getting closer, Bernadetta. Right. This war is going on and on. Do you think we will ever have sight of the end? Maybe. I wish I did, but we've still got a long way to go. I do not have agreement, but I am understanding of how you feel. When the war is finished, what are you wishing to do? That's a pretty big question. Then I will give more clarity. How will you be supporting yourself when your contract is completed? If you have the desire, you could come to Bridget with me. Wait, seriously? I thought you were just pulling my leg about that. I would never be pulling your legs. Also, I am speaking with seriousness. After losing the war with the Empire, Bridget was forced into becoming a vassal state. But this war is giving Bridget the chance to stand on equal feet again. We will be opening our borders to Fodlin. The exchanges between us will flourish. I am needing a person I can trust to give me help with this. Huh. Please, accept my apologies if the offer was given with too much suddenness. No, it's not that. I was just taking a moment to admire you. This war has been particularly ugly, and it seems like we're tearing each other apart on a daily basis. 
But people like you and Edelgard are already thinking about what comes next. How to plan for it. You're every bit the ruler they are. No. I am different. I am the Queen of Bridget. We are the proud isles, placed upon the sea by the spirits, who are watching over us to this day. Our future has the brightness of the sun. I am hoping you will be at my side as we are shaping it. Powerful words. And I'm happy you put that much stock in me. Honestly, it's a good fit. I've got nothing tying me down. No family, no titles, no property to speak of. I am not asking for your answer in this moment. I know your sword is sold right now. But when this war is over, I hope the making of a decision is at the top of your to-be-doing list. That is why I am approaching you so early. Because I am very, very sneaky. Because I'm very, very sneaky. <laughs> Fair enough. I'll keep, I'll keep that, in, that mind. in mind. And I don't blame you for trying to sneak ahead of the competition. Honestly, I'm kind of flattered. Kind of flattered. So, how about this? Let's both make it through this war unscathed and decide what comes next together. Okay, so I need to get Petra killed, it seems. <laughs> what a dick move, Jordi! Dick move! <laughs> first things first, let's go to do some Hunger kitchen shizen. on this one or we will we'll do this one uh casper is maxed both the <sighs> my cooking skills are failing come back whenever you're hungry hunger is the true enemy This one. Ferdinand is maxed. Caspar, Birdie, Dorothea, Monica. It's obvious that Byleth is better at cooking than uh, our boy here. Come back whenever you're hungry. Hunger is the true enemy. Uh, let's do Hoppy and Raphael. Hey, it's great. Wait. Come back whenever you're hungry. Hunger is the true. Let's see, enemy. we have all. No, we still have this one to do. Okay, we'll take this one. Petra's maxed. This okay. I think we've got most of the abilities on now. And we can do a chat with... Manuela, I guess. Hey, Manuela? Huh. She must be out. <laughs> Did I hear something? Oh, wait. Is she sleeping in one of the patient beds? Oh, you. So silly. <laughs> she talks in her sleep. I wonder what she's dreaming about. Wait, don't go. So you're just gonna leave? Uh-oh. 
Now she's scowling. Looks like things are going downhill fast. Get back here. You'll regret this. <laughs> you hear me? I'll never forget. <gasps> Morning, Manuela. Oh my. I don't even remember falling asleep. I don't suppose I was talking in my sleep, was I? Nope, not a word. You said some stuff like, get back here, and you'll regret this. Uh, yes. You see, I was trying to stop my dream man from leaving. I had tears streaming down my face and everything. But he just left me there, alone. Just thinking about it makes me furious. How is it that even in my dreams I am hopelessly single? Oh, I am. Uh, I need a moment. I need a, um, a moment. Are you okay? <laughs> I'm sorry, but uh, could I uh, trouble you for a glass of water? <laughs> Phew, that is much better. Thank you. No problem. But, uh, it smells like you've been swimming in booze. Are you hungover? I might be. Is that a problem? Well, I don't think the infirmary is supposed to look like a bear charged through here. That seems like a problem to me. Back off, will you? You're the one who trounced in here unannounced and eavesdropped on my private, if humiliating, sleep talking. <laughs> and now you're attacking me for a tiny hangover in a messy room? Who do you think you are? My husband? What? No, but as your friend and comrade, I can't not say anything. I know, you're right. I'm sorry. I tend to fly off the handle when I'm embarrassed. Hey, can I ask you for one teensy favor? Uh, help with cleanup or don't tell anyone. You want me to pretend like none of this ever happened, right? Don't worry, I won't tell a soul. You're a class act. Thank you. Well, I don't want everyone to think worse of me than they already do. I mean, honestly, where did it all go wrong? Did you know I was once a diva with the Middle Franc Opera Company? But now, apparently I'm just a shadow of my former self. Can you believe how rude that is? Why would you kick a girl when she's down? What? Just saying hello. What? I didn't... How about this? In lieu of hush money for our little secret, perhaps I'll let you hear me sing next time. Oh, well, I wouldn't clean up. I'll show you that this diva's just as dazzling as ever. Now you have something to look forward to. Anyway, did you need something? Huh? Oh, yeah. I'm sure I had a reason to come in here, but now I don't have the slightest idea what. <laughs> uh, okay, it's time to go off camp again and talk to everybody. Jordy's favorite job. Ooh, there's a new file here. First, talk to the chore master. Uh, horsies. And... I'm right here. We all must do our fair share to make yourself useful. Lily of the Valley. Yes, we all must do our fair share. Need to sell that large bullion. Okay, let's go talk to everybody. It's an entire camp filled with people to talk to. Got a sec. 
Did you know that the Leicester used to be part of the Empire? And they rebelled against us, got occupied by the Kingdom, and eventually won their independence. Now they're working with the Empire again. Nice. Interesting, interesting. Hey, I got something to tell you. I saw my little sis and my grandpa for the first time in ages. Maya, that is, that's my sis, has gotten a bit taller too. She looks a lot like our ma from behind. I definitely got a little misty-eyed, but I made sure she didn't see me. Maya. I've been accompanying Lorenz on his travels around Leicester for the past few months. I even managed to visit my family at one point. I hadn't seen them in a long time, so I'm glad I got the chance. It's made me homesick all over again, but I plan on refocusing so I can start working hard again. Excuse me. You're seeing each other after a long time. Are you your skills still sharp? Of course. Went back to bridge, right? Yes, home was very good. I went to the ocean and forest like when I was a child. I also said hello to the spirits. Spirits, huh? I can't really understand, but they sound born to Bridget. They are, but spirits are everywhere. You can be praying for their protection too. Protect me, squire! What do you think? How did it feel going onto the battlefield again? Were you overcome with sentimentality? Yeah, I was excited to get back to it. Excited. Hmm. Can't say I was expecting that response. Ride on, bro! Ride the waves! I know logically why we cannot be privy to... privy to when the fighting will resume, but to be honest, I wish I'd been informed much earlier about this recommend. I can't, don't know that word. There's nothing more nerve-wracking than having a break that could end at any moment. Oh, 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 Lionheart. You sorry excuse for a person. <laughs> There's been even more strife in Ferdiad since we successfully defended Ariahond. A little bird told me the royal army brought down executed a court mage named Cornelia. Word has it that she had been working alongside Lord Arundel and those who slid her in the dark. Hello. Dorothea, it's finally time. <laughs> Everyone's so much more relaxed and upbeat now. Feel the same, of course. Everyone's smiling so bright, I can barely I see. You're always optimistic enough to joke around, aren't you? I think that's a lovely trait. By the by. Ostensibly, the Western Church is obeying the politics of the Empire and Southern Church, but I don't trust them. They've been threatening the Archbishop with such hostility too. I can easily see them causing trouble. <sighs> and it scares me. How may I help you? The Rodel's coast is to the north of Matthew's territory, where we'll be invading this month. That land is associated with Saint Chihol, one of the four saints. There are rumors that the holy artifact lies beneath the monument on the coast, but I imagine the royal army would have taken it years ago if it were of any use. When we allied with Leicester, I thought it would be a good opportunity to return home, but my adoptive father wouldn't allow it. He said I needed to concentrate on working for the Empire right now. Hmm. What is he trying to accomplish by putting you in the Imperial Army? I think he wants the Edmund name to be renowned through the Empire. It's possible my adoptive father thinks the Empire will soon control all of Leicester. Our Lord venerates Her Majesty, but I find that hard to accept. Oh, Why, my family lost our hereditary position because Her Majesty reforms. 
Our duties were merely nominal, but we received compensation for them. Now all of that is gone. Our lord just laughed and said, of course we'd be removed. We barely did anything. <laughs> now that is a light-hearted lord, if you ask me. Listen up. Of course the fight breaks out the second I go back to Gargmach. I, I'm glad I managed to get back in time. What were you doing at Gerg Ma? Didn't I tell you? I used to live underneath the monastery. Just wanted to check on it. See if it was doing okay under the Imperial Army. Hey, Balthus! Life in the Imperial Capital was rough. My pockets didn't get any fuller. Tell you that. Obviously, I wasn't gonna pick any fights since I was working closely with Her Majesty. Well, that's a surprise. Guess you can be an upstanding citizen when you want to be, huh? That's a surprise? Come on, you gotta give me more credit than that! Come to think of it. Count Gloucester's retired now, and can you guess what he's been doing? Fishing in the Air Mid River from the Great Bridge of Meriden. My friend who helps manage the bridge was complaining that they don't know what to do with him. <laughs> Let the old man fish! For fuck's sake, he's not getting in anyone's way. Greetings, Commander. Nothing to report. Lots been happening in the capital, but now we've got an alliance with Laster. So let's keep our spirits fresh and we'll fight on together. Ah! Yaritza is back. It is a pity we cannot battle the alliance, but there are skilled individuals within the church and kingdom. Thunder Catherine. The King of Fergus, the Archbishop Rhea. Got a sec? Wait a minute. I get everyone else, but you think Archbishop Rhea can hold her own in the fight? That's not really the impression I got. <sighs> Those with strength have a peculiar scent. She is quite powerful in her own right. Hey, you guys don't know that yet because you nobody has played three houses completely. <laughs> No, that's not true. A lot of people play three houses, but uh, Rhea can actually turn into a fucking dragon. There. And she's crazy as fuck. Hmm. And so the war begins again. No need to worry, I'm not going to betray you. Hmm. I'm not worried you'll betray us, but we're gonna be fighting some of your old friends. It's all the same to me. I had a feeling this day would come. I see things very differently from those knights. They have different standards about who they ought to protect and about what's good or evil. To think that an honorable duchess such as yourself would deign to speak with someone Why like me. Now that can be of any me? use, but please, what business might you have mm -hmm. with me? You've changed greatly, Constance. I cannot imagine what you must have been I'm through. Sorry, no. Not worthy of your concern, my lord. The events of my life are exactly what you would expect for someone of lowly stature. Apologize, perhaps we should continue this conversation at a later date. Aww. Constance is back to her depressing self. Bernadette is hiding again. I'm so useless now, I've been away from battle too long, I can't even remember how to hold a weapon, I should just stand in the back. Hey, how long have you been there? Did you hear what I said? I was just practicing what I had said, Edelgard. Oh, I feel like crawling into a hole and never coming out. I mean, that is. <sighs> never mind. I won't say a thing. A moment of your time. I am Count Roa, and I am in, <laughs> and I am charged with safeguarding Arian Holt, the Silver Maiden. I must repay the Empire for saving me. I vow to do all I can as a general in the Imperial Army. By the way, have you heard rumors of the Savage Mockingbird? I let him go once, but I must find him again at all costs. Ah, give me no mind. This is my problem. This guy is such a douche. I really, I just want to put him down on his knees and chop his head off because I don't trust you. You, you, I don't trust. You suck. I've been trying to track my father these past six months, but I have not picked up any leads. It's like he va he has vanished in thin air. I wonder where he is, and what he's doing. 
let's see. Probably in hiding out and planning his grand return to the Empire. Mm -hmm. Certainly plausible, though I doubt he could manage it on his own. Which means he would need conspirators. I suppose I should focus my search along those lines. Six whole months, and not much as a peep from them. Even after we came all this way to Enbar, too. I'm quite disappointed, if I'm being honest. You sure? That doesn't mean they're not going to show. They might pop up later. My, you're certainly taking this in stride. Practically Jasper here. Hey. Soldiers will soon march towards the Western Kingdom. Her will be passing through Dominic territory. Her and Dominic is Annie's, well, my friend's uncle. We ended up hurting him. I know she'll never forgive us. There's nothing we can do about that, is there? It's all up to fate now. Hey, could you spare a moment? It has been quite an eventful six months. Do you want to hear what happened? You see, Edelgard asked me to assist her with some affairs of the state. While I was working, I got numerous ardent cross propositions from men in the court. Uh huh, and then what happened? Or less, one of them had a wife and a child, if you can believe it. Turns out they were asking me to help them with their work because of my talent in political sphere. Got some gall, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Manuela. Wonderful. You're driving, Casper. Use your strength to crush the enemy. You understand that it's your duty, yes? Of course. We also need to keep our allies safe, too. <laughs> I'm Caspar the Empire Sword and Shield. Nice. I'm gonna stand in front of this guy. You think he'll shoot? <gasps> He's gonna shoot! He just shot right through me! What a bastard! How dare he shoot through his commander. Did you hear? We took Garrick Mach easily, though there were casualties. That's why many of us didn't consider Knights of Terrors to be a formidable threat. <laughs> but then there was this massive attack six months ago, right? Some of our officers let their guard down and mistakes were made. They got in serious trouble. I really wish I could stop yawning at moments like these things are never clear cut. The kingdom has its own reasons for fighting, just like the Empire. I don't want to fight them, but I also can't say I want us to surrender. I have to tell myself every day that I made the right choice. I guess these things are never clear or cut, are they? They aren't. Greetings. In actuality. <laughs> with permission from Her Majesty, I went to speak with Duke Regan and the other Leicester nobles. As you know, House Glocenter's territory extends right into the center of Leicester. The alliance has taken on a rather odd shape present due to that. We are currently considering exchanging the northern part of Gloucester for or Dahlia territory. Mm. However, I highly doubt the plan will come to fruition for a while. It is much more than redrawing lines on the map, you see. Monica! If it isn't my savior, you look well. You Have mean? you come to ask me for a favor? <laughs> Shrug it up. Nah, not really. Might be more inclined to do so if you stop calling me that, though. Hmm. Mean to offend, but very well. I'll treat you like I would anyone else. Hello there. Nice one. Finally moving again. We got to take down the kingdom this time. I actually want to bring down the alliance too, but I can't do much about that now we're working together. Hmm. Gerald's mercenaries present our biggest problem now. If only there was a way to get them on our side. I hope we'll be able to concentrate mainly on the royal army and steer clear of mercenaries. I wonder if we could come up with a diversion that would draw them off the battlefield. <laughs> Randolph has been working so hard these past six months. He's not only been training, but he's been studying tactics too. He's going to be such a huge help in the upcoming yes. battle. He used to be unreliable, but now I can say with all my heart that he's our rock. I'm so proud of him. Aww. How sweet. That reminds me. For the past six months, the kingdom has not continued their attempts to recapture Ironhob. 
They have instead poured all their efforts into managing the nobles in their western regions, nobles who find their loyalty wavering, placing lords, imposing adoptions, delivering hostages, strategic marriages. They have been quite thorough. What could possibly be worth such tremendous effort to protect? Their Let's dignity. See. Dignity, maybe? I'm sure they don't want the Empire to control Let them. Me. Personally, I would never want our home to be controlled by the Empire, by the Kingdom either. But that is not a matter of dignity, it's simply a strong objection to the notion of being ordered around by fools. <laughs> of course! Of course, Hubert! Of course! Shall we? There you are. We shall begin the meeting at once. Come with me. Battle suggest. Ooh, that's new. Hmm. Does anyone have any suggestions regarding how to prepare for battle? At the start of each chapter, your allies may offer your battle suggestions. When suggestions is completed, the ally who made suggestion will be boosted moral and increase support points with you. If you complete a suggestion, its effects will last until the end of the chapter. You can check the effects of implement suggestions by. I have a strategy. <sighs> Focus on developing flexibility to improve sword technique. Slightly increase the class experience gained when training in a class that wields swords. I have a proposition. Focus on developing destructive power to improve axe technique. What if we try uh, let's go this. with the, these. Everything to me. Shall we? What do you think? You've been keeping busy already. I hope you are ready to push on towards victory. This may be a fierce battle. It is possible we could lose any one of our close comrades. I would suggest treasuring the moment we have now and spending time with them while you can. Hey! Thinking about my friends reminds me of my old mercenary band. Actually, I made a little something when I first became a full-fledged mercenary. Might not be a bad idea to give that to someone. Be my way of saying I'll always be there for them. Merc Whistle. Gift an ally a Merc Whistle, and in return they'll give you their special accessory. Put on the accessory and your unique action will be overwritten with that of the unit who gave you the accessory. Only allies with an A support level with Jordy can receive a Merc Whistle. Only acquire one Merc Whistle per playthrough, so think carefully about whom you give it to. Okay. Um, unit information, Edelgard. Bue attacks with fire, Emperor's Prestige. Causes enemies that are guarding to nonetheless sustain 50% of calculated damage. Ooh. When ordered to attack, reduce damage received from enemies by 30%. Interesting. What, what are my effects currently? My unique class effects. Gain chance to perform a few attacks that instantly defeat non-commander units. This increases with hit count. Press set R to dash for short distance mortal coil. HP at 90% or above increase the warrior gauge. Fill rate mercenary creed when ordered to attack. I don't think I actually want to give it to anyone. Well... Talk to Edelgard again. Do you have a moment? This area along the Gareth territory was one part of the Empire. It was known as the Macht region. Meanwhile, the land to the north of Fargus was taken from Shreng, was Duskar, of course. Those who side with the Central Church boast that the goddess granted them this land. But ultimately, no one owns the land. However, is in power at any given moment, simply exercise their control over it. Well, which battlefield are you headed to? Damn, Anna is all the way over there. Jesus. 34 foreign tome.
Don't you just love it when Yordi is useless in a certain situation? Um, what are the... I need spears, so... What do we have? I need these... Ah, yeah, uh, little Bart's carrying that one. Archers. Okay, I guess we can use... No, who the fuck cares at this point anyways? Just go. Um... You are fine in here. We swap you for Edelgard. Edelgard is fine in here. And Hubert... Ah, you were just fine wherever the fuck he wants to be. Fight! Let's battle be here! We must Okay, um I'm on it. No, just leave it to me. Here I go. I'm just gonna send it'll garden Hubert at the same enemy while I charge. We're at a disadvantage here, so don't get reckless. Five hundred seven minutes. Wait, let me actually have a look. Uh, army status, battle, unit battle, details. Astra is almost maxed out, okay. Job, you be. Right. Two of you can take out this one. Here I go. I have to fall back. Orders have been carried out. What comes next? So this is defeat. I'm sorry. Messenger appeared. Where does the messenger need to run to? Let's get started. Done. Defeat the messenger within the time limit. Easy. Still improving. Let's go check what our what new suit looks like. Our like super tech. Okay, still ends in a cross attack. Knowing when to retreat is a vital strategy. Perhaps this will shift the situation in our favor. Winds are severe. I have to fall back. Enemy down. Splendid. Though yours is indeed a power that warrants caution. Order, 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 order. Fort Fortress Knight appeared. And towards the back alley. Is 
Are you still alive? Oh, no, it's a new guy. No. Don't mind if I do. You shall pay for this. You hear? Sniper and their allies. Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up against. I'm on it. No chip. The stronghold's ours. On to the next one. March. Are severe. I have to fall back. How does oh, that no, oh, no. Yeah. to retreat as a vital strategy. Yeah. Orders have been carried out. What comes next? Enemy count has appeared. I'm on it. It's no perfect sure. guy for uh here I go. No mistake. they must learn who they're not a problem. Right then. We're not losing to anyone. Standing when the battle's over. After killing these guys, obviously. Your power walks the line of darkness. He already defeats everything. Zilla, aren't you playing yourself? Foreign Tome. Killer X. That's a nice X. Uh, I do think I have some tomes to improve. AK. No, not yet. Oh wait, you ordered it today, right? So it's not arrived yet. Duh, Yordi. Stupid. We've finished laying out where the troops will be positioned, Claude. But, uh, are you sure about this? What is Cloud screaming this time? Am I sure about what? This isn't even remotely like a standard attack formation. It's like you're going out of your way to limit casualties. Not true. The moment the enemy drops their guard, we'll swarm them like a pack of bees. And oh, about an in-shot left with it. Oh, okay. Guard? 
Why aren't you playing yet? Then I guess we'll just sit here making angry faces at each other. Okay, come on. This strategy is not helpful. Look, just by being here, we're drastically reducing the number of kingdom soldiers the Imperial Army has to deal with, right? Which means we don't have to kick our troops into action until the Empire has marched further north. Once they're positioned to seize bladed territory, that's when we'll move. Because I'm here? Ah, uh, I mean, okay. could have catastrophic consequences for the future of the Alliance. I'm not used to you being so worried about the big picture, Hilda. You've grown. I wasn't going to stay a kid forever, you know. Yeah, just because I have pink hair, big boobs, doesn't mean uh, I can't grow up. Hilda, I promise you, your fears are misplaced this time. The Empire's already compensated us. Nice. Do you know what kind of shoes he go? So. You don't think I would have signed that fancy pact if they weren't taking care of us, right? Sure, but are they good for their word? Because I have doubts about that. I want to believe the pact will hold. I really do. But they strike me as folks who won't think twice about sticking an axe between their shoulders if the situation calls for it. Fortunately, I can be pretty ruthless myself when it suits me. If I don't like something the Empire is doing, it might even be me who ends up breaking the pact. If that's supposed to make me feel better, it is absolutely not working. Send picture! Easy, easy. I'm just throwing out a what if here. Just promise that you'll always have my back, even when things look their worst, all right? I need you. Oh, fine. But only because it's you. A report, Your Majesty. The Imperial Army marches on Western Fargus. Just when we brought peace back to the area, too. We should get ready to provide aid at once. Rodrigue has already been dispatched to Mateus, along with all the soldiers I can currently spare. And I've sent Annette and Gustav to the Baron's side, though if it's for better or worse, is yet to be seen. I don't doubt we'd send it where the fuck you want, bro. But that's clearly not you can now actually send links because VIP status. Agreed. Now that Claude's joined up with the enemy, we can't risk doing anything foolish. If we move our soldiers even a breath away from the Northeast, the Alliance will be all over us. All we can do now is divide our forces to keep the enemy in check and meet their attacks as they come. We never should have let this happen in the first place. But who could have seen the Empire and Alliance forming such a union? Noise. Four. Are you seriously going to just stand by and watch? They'll overrun us if we don't stem the tide. Though it smacks of desperation, I'm told the Western Front has enlisted the services of Gerald's mercenaries. They're the same band that carried the battle at Magdred Way. So I hope we can make good use of them again. Is this really the plan? Burn through mercenaries while we hole up here? Do try not to be so grim. The Empire has pushed rapid reforms on the land over these last few years. Not everyone was happy to have such changes thrust upon them, and that includes their new friends in the Alliance. Nice shoes. The Empire is leaning over the kingdom with such greed that they might yet trip over their own feet. Do you think there will be revolts? I'm certainly not going to plan my strategy around it. But there have been whispers, yes. The old ways must die. With that, I agree. But shove that down the people's throats, and you risk breaking the very land you're trying to rule. Yes. We've grappled for years with the aftermath of trying to enact reform. Change is a painful process. But rushed change will set the region to rot from the inside out. I wonder why they're so intent on doing this the quick and dirty way. It's difficult to say. Uh, perhaps were things different, we might have found some common ground, some harmonious way forward. 
but I've lost too many I care about to this war. Ingrid, chief among them. <sighs> when I think about what they fought for, what they died for, there can be no turning back. Being vagabonds, bring it mercenaries. ASQ. Not bad, not bad. ASQ. Wait, I already said hey, ASQ. Lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. Allow me to assist with any matters regarding the facilities. He could go in hard. Uh, it guards the old tome on the words. Corn tome. Birds. Ferdy is still with the best spear. Caspar, on the other hand, can. Hmm. Never mind. Uh, I think this is fine. Hello. Hello there. GG, dude. GG. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Delivery equipped. <laughs> Sixty. Hell no. We got a better. S oh shit! I just sold it. Nah. Fuck it. Um. Doo -ba -doo -ba -doo -ba -doo. We had more bows, Bernie. Your bow is seventy-five. This one is eighty. Then we'll give Shamir your old bow. Right here, just give it someone to something. Okay. Uh, let me have a look at what we still need to increase in the last tier upgrades. 
Allow me to assist with any matters regarding the facility. I only know meth. Uh, veteran training. This training one. Two on tactics. Standard combat manuals. Twenty blacksmith. Also two recreation quarters. One. Multi building materials. One on the merchant. One on the battalion. And none on the supply depot. Let me know if I may be of further service. Um, Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Let me see what I have the most of currently. Merchant's license, five. I know I have basic furnishing. Yeah, need one. Arts and smithing, eight. Standard combat manual. Okay, um... None of these are going to get much cheaper. So I'll buy five of these. And... Da, 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 da. It's training. Need to combat. Nine. Everything has its use. Wrong one. Allow me to assist with any matters regarding the facility. tactics facility. Still needs one on that. I don't have enough. Recreation quarters is done. Marketplace is done as well. Oh wait, maybe not even this one. Yeah. Tier two still. Let me know. Well, who cares at this point? What's up? My father? Yeah, he was here to talk to Edgar, but he's gone back east now. He was so kind of. Uh, he was kind of interested in you too. I'm not going anywhere with nobody. We're going to battle again. Which battlefield are you headed to? Uh, let's see. I might get the most resources out of this one, and we can turn Edelgard to her max. Woda. Thirty-five. Okay, go with this. Ooh, missed. Let's see. We need. Edel Garden needs to sit this one out for Udo. Most likely, Bernadetta, right? Why can't you just let me stay yeah. Inside? Uh, Hubert is gonna sit out. Or not for Petra, but for Lindhart. And then we have Balthus. Okay, seems good enough. Let's go. The fight starts now. I don't want to get left behind while I'm stuck hiding in my room. No messing around. We want to win. War with conjured up the fog. Yes. 
Find and defeat him. Okay. Oh, if I must. Find hard to go that way. Bernie, go this way. Just wait for the museum of late game. Reluctant to do this, I can see no other choice. Wounds are severe. I have to fall back. When you go take out the brawler, I'll just move forward. Everybody's really proud of you. How's the game been going? Are you winning, son? Yeah, I've been winning. They've legit only been winning. I haven't lost a single match. Would be very bad actually if I did because I'm playing with permadeath, so. Zillar, are you gonna play with permadeath, by the way? Knowing when to retreat is a vital strategy. Probably. Nice, that's what I like to hear. Curiosity. Then I guess. Ha, that was easy. Rude. I'm not that evil. I'm gonna reach that thief before you actually reach the chest. Grapplers. It's burning time to shine. Sure, I beg your assistance at once. Now we need to get 
retreat is a vital strategy. Healing results, perhaps even adequate. I almost feel sorry for them. Not a problem. I've got this. Oh, if I leave this to me. Let's move. I'm on it. Just what a pain. You're right, Bernie's gonna end these guys. Oh, wow, seriously? I take it back, Bernie actually wasn't fast enough. That kind of sucks. Oh well. It's done, it's done. Where's the brigand variants? Curious feeling to see one's classmates performing so admirably. Wounds are severe. I have to fall back. Tell me, it's Bernie. Time I'm Bernie. To shine. I'm on it. No charge. Just leave it to oh, the tards. Somebody saw that. Take out I'm the sniper. Sorry. We weren't strong enough. What's next? How much time? Uh... Here it comes. Well, I guess I'll leave that one live then. say your character sucks, SQ. I just said she just wasn't on time. I won? Hey, I actually won! But good news is she'll be faster once she gets the master class. Because she'll have a horse. Vert Tome, 65. Steel Lens, 65. Ugh. I... am I so fucking sweaty? will soon be knocking at our door. Why haven't Duval and Dominic stopped them? Baron, you'll never reclaim the title of Viscount your Lord Uncle lost if you go weak in the knees. Letting yourself be pressured into betraying the kingdom will see you cast out of the aristocracy for the rest of time. And your fickle nature would earn you the derision of both the kingdom and the empire alike. They'll view you the same way they do Count Roe. I care not. I have no interest in going to my grave just because I drew the shortest straw. Uh, sorry to interrupt, but I figured you'd want to know we finished cleaning up the enemy's advanced troops. Excellent. You certainly live up to your esteemed reputation, Captain Geralt. I've never met a more reliable band of mercenaries in all my years. It's a shame we only engaged you for the one contract. I don't suppose we could convince you to extend your term of service. His Majesty the King has heard tale of your exploits. I could arrange for an introduction. Uh, appreciate the offer, but that would mean going to Ferdiad. Hmm. I've got reasons for avoiding that place, so thanks, but no thanks. I see. It will be a shame to lose you, but I won't pry. 
It's nothing against you or the kingdom, mind you. Then I'll hold out hope we might fight alongside each other again someday. Now, if you'll excuse me, the Baron and I must inspect the camp. Best of luck to you in battle, Captain. You feeling any better? <laughs> I have to say, I'm still not used to this new look of yours. That makes two of us. But it will bother me less once I'm on the battlefield. If you say so. With the war and the state it's in, the Empire is throwing everything they've got at this thing. I don't know if it's that or something else, but I've got a bad feeling. So watch yourself out there. I will. You do the same. Oh, right. <laughs> I've been meaning to give you this. Never used to be without it. Cuts like a dream. I want you to have it. Swords like this are given to captains of the Knights of Saros, and mine was just collecting dust in the band's convoy. That's right. Alois mentioned you used to serve there. That was a lifetime ago. I don't plan on swinging this sword ever again. But are you sure you want to give it away? It must be quite special to you. Uh, I'd be happiest seeing you get some use out of it. Thank you. I'll do that. Be good to it, all right? Pierre would like to suggest a battle plan. Do you think plan. this might work? Open, grab Anna's shop, grab anything else in a bit. We're gonna go on an expedition with Dorothea in the woods. All sort of. Well, hello there. Buy one of these, obviously. Is that the one? This one. Is that the one? This one. Come back soon. Come back soon. <laughs> see if I can max out my character stats. Welcome. Welcome. And that's kind of tall, or is she just standing on higher for lore? Uh, maybe just a little bit higher floor. Come back <sighs> Dorothy. Um. <laughs> also have sport conversation with her. Water fronds. Come on. No. No, I still haven't really found uh, that any of the personalities of the characters. This is the perfect locale for. I sometimes wonder if orphans like me would be better off if the Southern Church had been restored sooner. Wrong answer. Here you suck! The offer company is doing what they can to lift people's spirits. This one better. You are a completely different creature from me, and I never tire of observing you. Leave it to you. 
Dude, that's better. We don't actually get to zoom in on our tits, though. Um... Reminds me, I actually found myself at a noble's tea party not too long ago. Oh, you must be talking about Ferdy, right? He does love his tea. Uh, no. It happened while I was doing some work as a bodyguard. The nobles who threw the party even gave me a cup of tea to show their appreciation. I didn't really know what to make of it, though. Hard to say if it was even good or bad. Understandable. Settings like that tend to choke the flavor out of any food or drink you happen to come across, among other things. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm built for all that fancy stuff. Hey, remember when I asked you to sing for me? You belted out a verse from one of your operas? It kind of reminded me of that tea. It's like, I just don't have the background for that sort of stuff. If you don't grow up in it, you're not gonna get it. Everyone has a right to those things, though. Taking in a tragic opera, letting an elegant meal dance across your taste buds. Nobody should be excluded from those pleasures just because they were born a commoner. It'd be good if that's how things worked. Hmm? You think it's not? Take my time back as a mercenary. I would have gladly eaten a half-cooked rat if it meant I was getting food in my belly. It's only since I joined up with this army that my palate's become a little more discerning. But what I'm saying is, if you never have the chance to eat good food, then you'll never know what good food is supposed to taste like. Not that that's necessarily a bad thing, but... In that case... Uh, Dorothea? Sorry, I got a bit caught up in my thoughts there. But I think it might be just as you say. Will you indulge me for a moment? Sure, what's on your mind? When I first started singing, I did it for me. Only me. But it wasn't long until Manuela discovered my gift. So, I joined the opera company. It felt... <laughs> incredible. I wanted the whole <gasps> world to hear my singing. Oh, once I became a songstress, I started attracting more and more attention from the nobles. Before I knew it, I wasn't singing for myself anymore. I was singing for them. Now you can't even appreciate my songs if you weren't born with a silver spoon in your mouth. Even appreciate my songs if you weren't born with a silver spoon in your mouth. That might be true, but like I said, that isn't necessarily a bad thing. So many people would kill to be able to do what you can do. So don't belittle yourself like that. Your singing is incredible, Dorothea. I appreciate that. <laughs> I really do. But, I still can't help but wonder. You already can't see! Oh. Okay, uh, that's done. We are going to the training instructor. We got two master thingies. So we're gonna go upgrade Edelgard to Emperor. Um, thinking. Bernadetta is probably going to be the most useful sooner, so let's go with Bow Knight on Bernadetta. I just want 
I just want to go home. Can't wait to see how you do. Uh, convoy set abilities. Do you have anything new yet? Nothing really. Okay. Time to work you into shape. Train. Um. Balthus for Yordi. Blindheart for Edelgard. I'm back, got ice cream. Jealous. Getting stronger. I am capable of use. Okay, uh, that is one person mastered. We're gonna swap that one out for Bernadette. One step at a Do we have anyone left that needs to be leveled? Shamir? Constants. I had this. <laughs> I had this power. This will help. Ignat for Constance. Getting stronger. I'll put this to good use. I think I'm getting. Okay, that's all the training. More support conversations. Raphael. Hey, I was wondering if I could ask you something. I heard that you don't have any parents. Is that right? Yeah, the woman who raised me died, and I don't even know who my birth parents are. That must be tough for you, huh? Nah, it's okay. They all died a long time ago, so I don't feel sad or anything like that now. But I do wonder who I really am sometimes. <laughs> I don't have even the slightest memory of my birth parents. Well, you might not know who you are, but you still work hard and you keep your chin up through it all. That makes you super strong in my book. Hey, Raphael, your parents are gone too, right? Yeah, both my mom and pa died in an accident. Well, then you're just as strong as I am. You work harder than anyone I know, and you do it all with the biggest grin in the world. <laughs> of course. It's easy when you love training as much as I do. And eating. Hey, <laughs> I just realized something. We've sure got a lot in common. Our parents aren't with us anymore. We're both commoners scraping our way through this war, and most importantly... What can be more important than that? Both of us have got some serious brawn! <laughs> I appreciate that, but our body types are completely different. Not sure this really counts as brawn. <laughs> sure, you're a little scrawnier than me, and maybe a lot smarter. But you know... My brain's been getting a constant workout ever since we opened the inn. 
<laughs> you have an in? Oh, yeah. Rawr. I went home and started one up with my grandpa and little sis once the academy shut down. Running a business like that takes a surprising amount of muscle. Sure, there's regular stuff like hauling things around, but you need brain power too. If you ever want to make a profit, you have to pay real close attention to keeping the books straight. I mostly let my sis handle that stuff, though. That muscle still needs more work for me. Which means I'm in charge of the cooking. But that has its own share of problems. Yeah, it can be tough to find your footing when you switch jobs. Especially if you have to start doing things outside your wheelhouse. Trust me, I've had my fair share of growing pains getting used to the army life. Everything's way different from how it worked with my Merc groups. But don't you just fight? That doesn't seem so different to me. As a mercenary, the only thing you're responsible for is yourself. Show up and do the job right, and you'll get your pay. But having soldiers to command, people I'm in charge of beyond just myself, that's a huge change for me. And there's way more to military work than just plain combat. Stuff like managing resources, making sure everyone has the weapons and armor they need. I don't think I'm bad at math per se, but it's definitely not something I'm used to doing. And the more stuff there is to keep track of, the harder it all gets. Hey, you're not so good at using your brain either. We're, We're practically twins. twins. <laughs> that makes us pals now, right? I've got your back. So you just keep on working hard, buddy. Right back at you. Let's keep fighting the good fight. Great. That was just fantastic. Cute belly is full and now she is hyper. You know what you should do then, SQ? Which battlefield are you headed to? Indeed. Exercise. <laughs> the fight starts now. Time for the four hundred four minutes. Do what I can. It's Bernie's time to shine. Sure hope this goes okay. Oh, if I must. Another courier. I'm on it. No charge. Down. Yeah. 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 Y
Boom! Knowing when to retreat is a vital strategy. Let's keep it going. I almost feel sorry for them. Ooh, his. <laughs> How much time? I'm switching back to my guy. You shall pay for this, you hear. Even results, perhaps even adequate. SQ, are you a snake? Hey, a new power. Dark spikes. Jesus. Look at all that money! This but one of many things she is. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's right, SQ. I can't hiss at you. I didn't hiss at you. I was just hissing for no particular reason. Battlefield are you headed to? The Wulda. Rescue the commoners and their allies. Okay. Let's see, that's one. Lineheart is pretty much useless in this fight. But Ferdy, on the yeah, other hand, is Gucci. Fail. You are fine. And you are fine. <laughs> You're the one that's hissing, so I don't know. Let's earn our keep. We've got an ally. There's not a question I can. Only a ma Leave this to me. It's pretty time to shine. Sure hope this goes okay. Not a problem. I've got this. I'm on it. No charge. 
I'm swapping to Fergie in first thing. This stronghold will fall. My turn. Take a breather. There is not a question of can. Leave this. Smash that stronghold into rubble. Enemy reinforcements. There's not a question of can. Only a map. Burning, take this out. We're done for. The rest is up to you. Not a problem. I am your man. Oh, that was the entire quest. Uh, did we get an S rank? Don't know. Appears luck was on my side. Or maybe I'm doing a vacation to the Netherlands this October, so I can finally close Jordy's open microwave. It's closed. And cabinets the cleanest place. I ain't cleaning shit. Well, I could do a relatively spontaneous trip to the Nether if I've ever, I've just seen. Cost me sixty there and back. 
Oh, you're there. Can you free my soul from the wooden box? Sure, he puts big lock on. Okay, you made him look. Yeah, you made me look. You dipshit. Because of Lizzie, I'm very insecure about that, okay? <laughs> oh. Um full camper resources SQ Hiko is never going to find that box it's hidden supplies are the life very well everything has its use Probably covered in his socks. Which battlefield are you I mean, to? I wouldn't want to touch my socks either if I was any of you guys. Three master seals, that is super chill. Make sure you're ready. <clears throat> Allow me to assist with any matters regarding the facilities. Let me know if I may be of further service. Time to work you in the <laughs> Hiko instantly thinks the worst thing. <laughs> ah, that's funny. SQ, are you 100% sure about that, that your soul shines? This is a way to get more power. Oh wow, this outfit is hideous. Training, you'll be unstoppable. Which battlefield are you headed to? Okay. Devil sword. And that sounds like an interesting sword. Just kill 500 enemies? Okay. Um, Boulder is fine. Bernie is gonna go swapped out for Edelgard. 30. Well, also flyers. So we're keeping Bernie Deda in. Fight starts now. I don't want I'm on it. No, just leave it to me. It's Bernie's time to shine. Sure hope this goes. Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up against. 
the problem. Should have swapped. I've got this. I'm gonna get left behind while I'm stuck hiding in my room. No messing around. We want to win. Holy shit, one combo isn't even killing anymore. Bernadetta going hard, girl. It's burning time to shine. Bitter than black as coffee. I can't believe that worked. Warlock appeared. I'm on it. No Slightly confused as to why I am evil, but sure. I'll take over. I'm on fire. <laughs> so easy. Everybody's really proud of me. Is the warlock dead? Amazing. You are. I'm dragging the others down. Yep. A taste more bitter than black as coffee. I can't believe that worked. It's over. Skew, you imagine too much. Giant collar. Already? Take a breather. 
Yeah, not you. Baller. March time. It's burning time to shine. Yeah. Very big imagination, very big dream world, where everything shines. See, 10 minutes, still have two and a half minutes left. Ish. the real world. I hated it. Everyone hates the real world, this Q. Except those so-called happy people. <laughs> Devil sword! It better be a good sword, mate. Otherwise I'm gonna cry. Price of power. The damage is the wielder. Oh, sad. Just doesn't make it worth it. Which acting up today? It keeps freezing. You already for me. Oh no! Stupid Twitch. At least I'm fun to talk to, right guys? Right guys? Talk so to the knife freshly sharpened. SQ, if you think I'm scared of a knife, then you're gonna be uh, very not so happily surprised. No, please stop. Any results a good result. Allow me to assist with any matters regarding the facility. The blacksmith. Started at the bottom, now we're here. Started at the bottom, now a whole team here. Let me know. I may be of further service. Hello. 
<laughs> okay, I'll leave. Hey, 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 come back here, miss. You're not allowed to leave. The of any Didn't say anything about not liking you to talk to. I'm just saying that we um, are not afraid of you pointing knifeys at us. <laughs> Everything has its use. <laughs> no, please stop. It does look like Hiko said that, right? <laughs> When the fuck did you get these, mate? Vajar Mushti? Balthus. Since when did you get these? Huh. Interesting. This one over here. You can only take infantry units into battle. What the fuck are infantry units? Um, do Baltus and Yordi fall under infantry? I doubt that this... Girl on a horse is infantry units, is it? I think infantry units are foot soldiers. Kneel before her majesty. Yes, I don't. We'll see if this uh, counts. Let's earn our keep. Okay, I'll good to know. It. Right then, Let I go fall. Right then, let us go. <laughs> I will see my team. Here I go. They must learn who they. Not a problem. I've got got to do. That's it. Time to wreck stuff. <laughs> You already defeated someone. Not a problem. I've got this. We can't gain any ground. We did it. I'm saving up a shit ton of money for the next main mission because I'm gonna need to uh, 
This is our turf now. Level everyone up a little bit, most likely. We'll provide backup. Death is coming. What's up? What's up? What's up? I don't know what these fuckers are talking about, but the advisor is already dead. Omae wa mo! Shinderyu! I think I'm switching to Hubert here, right? Not a problem. I've got Take a breath, stand back. Right. Give me a sec. Balthus is no gonna job. take this grappler out. In the meantime, I'm gonna My continue forward come. with Hubie. Let's get started. Any final word? Any final words? You words, you're not so strong, buddy. And you're slow. Knowing when to retreat is a vital strategy. Behold your undoing! <laughs> no, not good enough. I no mercy, but I gotta fall back. What's next? Right then. Okay, you were you can guard this guy. Take a breather. Time to wreck stuff. I'm on it. No charge. Watch this. Tight. The Edel Gods path to conquest continues. Knowing when to retreat is a vital strategy. Let's keep it going. Knowing when to retreat is a vital strategy. Yeah. Time to have Yordi slaughter some shit. Allow me to fight. 
I'm running out of time. I have to fall back. Enemy down. Poetry in motion. How much? Okay, spawn before I run out of time. Enemy commander. Let's carve a swap through the battlefield. This is a fucking uh, swords general. Yeah, we're not gonna do that with fucking stupid Hubert. So yesterday I decided which character you are. You could be Haru from my anime. From the anime My Little Monster. <laughs> Nani? Hey, new power. Ooh, magic bow? Oh, it sucks. Never mind. Swift speed ring. Dirty wants better equipment and a better sword. Hubert wants to go on expedition. Cursed Ashia Swords? Hell yeah. That's up. Is that sword better for me? Or is it doo doo? Oh, now we're talking! Ah, no, it's another one with price of power! Right? Like, price of power. HP is 50% or above. Critical hit rates greatly increase, but attacking costs the units to sustain damage for a period of time. Why? I want good swords. I don't want self-harming swords. This make you already sad. want self-harming sword. No, we don't want the self-harming swords. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. Hey there. Need something? See you around. Welcome. I'm gonna save them though because they look dope. Also, no butts. Uh, what was I doing again? Oh yeah, I was gonna go here. 
My instruction comes at a high price. This will help me break new ba this will help me break new boundaries. Don't neglect your daily studies. Oh shut up old man. X breaker. Gradually restores warrior gauge. Super chill. Carpe diem. Okay, now let's go talk to Hubert. Hubert, why would you want to go on an excursion with me? That reminds me. Just because I told you that you suck and that you're not strong? That looks good. Dare I say our time together is actually tolerable? <laughs> Better not. There is no Encounter? As you walk along, lost in your thoughts, something flies in front of you. Those rare birds. Identifying wildlife, hmm? All I know is which ones are likely to kill me. Huh. Apparently I did something good. Have I ever mentioned how you would fit right in at House Vestra? Do you look well? You Never good enough for this guy. Me on excursions. You this doesn't feel like the right response. <sighs> but don't look at me like that, Hubert. If I were planning to kill me, this would be the perfect opportunity. Well played. <laughs> that was a... Game. You win this time, Hubert. Which battlefield are you headed to? You win this time, good sir. Defeat Warlock, the Paladin, and the Swordmaster. Don't let the thief be routed. Okay, apparently Yordi is useless here. Okay, we're swapping useless Yordi for this Ferdinand. You here, you are fine there. Okay, whatever. Fight! Okay. Here I go. They must learn who they're up against. Right then. Let us go. <laughs> There's not a question of can. Only a matter of will. Leave this to mine and hone your blades. We ride for victory. <laughs> no messing around. We want to win. <laughs> It's you. It's over. You know what they say about playing with fire. Uh, let's see. What is Edelgard should be good against the Paladin, right? No mistakes. 
<laughs> Let's move. I'm on it. Judges are severe. I am your man. I have to fall this. back. Perhaps this will shift the situation in our favor. Giant wolf appeared on the battlefield. And watch for an opportunity to strike back. Okay, Rina Saima Sengo Juju Sama. Send you in the meantime towards the wolf. Uh, you are actually useless against the wolf, great. Then you can go kill a monk or whatever. Edelgard is useful against this thing, though. Um, in the meantime, Hubert sees this. Towards the thief. General Mathekunt, come here. Let's keep it going. Um, Baltos is doing a good job. Continue with that. How many? Three hundred. Okay, you be right then. Continue Let's murder. Stop. Orders have been carried out. What comes next? You can Wow, really? This completes Oh, that sucks. This victory moves us closer to great things. That really sucks. I didn't get enough kills. Cringe. But you can call me Master Cunt! I want to go on an expedition with Raphael. Fine. Sport conversations, Raphael, whatever. Where are you? Here. There. <laughs> hey, what are you doing over here? My muscles have been waiting for this. Let's go to the forest. General Master Cunt. <laughs> My little sis will be fine without me. As long as she's got our grandpa. Hmm. I am Zully D. Bully. <laughs> God damn it. Big cities aren't the only places with great food. Those ends along Merchant Road serve. I'm not so great at using my head, but I'm pretty handy. Ah. Muscle. That all. 
Okay, uh, support. Hey there, your majesty. Fresh off some new official business, eh? Huh? Don't you ever get a rest? No, we don't rest here. Yes. Thank you for your concern. Huh? Why are you staring at... Hey, all right. No, it isn't that. It most certainly is not that. I was just revising my opinion of you. Hubert made you out to be the greatest womanizer of our time. But you've been surprisingly well behaved. I said I wouldn't hit on you, didn't I? Also, that could not sound more like Hubert. Anyway, you could have just taken my word for it. I apologize for doubting you. Still, just because you haven't attempted to woo me doesn't guarantee you- Princess Sama, that's way too high of a title for SQ. Sure, but the thing is, you're not really my type. You're too smart, and dainty, and way too important. Wooing you would be like bringing a baguette to a sword fight. I know when I'm out of my league. I'm not quite sure how I'm supposed to take that. Look, the only thing I want from you is a job. You pay well. And frankly, I could really use an army between me and the folks trying to kill me. We have had to bolster the camp's defenses because of all the trouble you keep attracting. So, yes. Thanks for that. Hey, if it bothers you, let him through. I can watch my own back well enough. Save the cleverness and compassion for some other lunkhead. I agree, my time could be better spent. Also, I'm not compassionate. Merely hopelessly committed to my ideals. Oh, yeah? I've set out to unite all of Bodlin. I've started a war over it. That means destroying any who oppose me and protecting all who stand with me. If you believe in me, <laughs> I will never abandon you. Some of the clots. Even if you do happen That's to be a skew title from now on. Up to his neck in debt. <laughs> Sorry. I'm not good at thinking of titles. Zillard came up with his own title. Insulted the stuffing out of me. But hey, if your thing is looking out for people, I'm happy to be a spare set of eyes. Plus, you're a boss worth swinging these fists for. I could shop around, but I doubt I'd find better. And I will endeavor to keep it that way. But for now, I must be off. Oh, and Balthus? Join us at the next War Council. Oh boy, that was close. It's like she was begging for me to make with the flirting. And if oh. it wasn't for Hubert, I might even be stupid enough to try. <laughs> well, if it wasn't for Hubert, I might be stupid enough to try. Time to work you into shape. <laughs> I'm such a mean person sometimes. Uh, 40. For the 40. My Great. 40. Hi. 40. Forty. <laughs> Not enough money in this game to get all my units up.
Hubert, Lineheart can go the first one. Boltus to become a war master. Okay. Petra's already. Oh. Only one. Much bladed. Um, so for Ferdinand, Estea for Hubert, Mercedes for Petra. Yeah. I apologize in advance for any ridicule you face. What? Training can with proper training, you'll be unstoppable. <laughs> Hubert and Petra. Fancy running into you here. How are you acclimating to life in Her Majesty's army? We are constantly traveling all across Fodland, so I'm sure there is a lot to adjust to. I find myself being cold often, but the others have shown great kindness in telling me what to expect. I have no troubles. <laughs> Marvelous. Ma. I want nothing more than for you to fit in and feel comfortable. Know that there is a permanent place for you in this army, if you so desire. No. I will be returning to Bridget when the war is finished. I am going to be queen. That day is approaching with quickness. <laughs> yes. I am very much aware. And upon your coronation, Bridget will be released from its vassalage to the Empire. Her Majesty and your grandfather have agreed to this in secret. For having consideration of Bridget's interests, I give Lady Edelgard and Duke Garrett my gratitude. As I understand it, the Minister of Foreign Affairs pursued this particular policy most vigorously. He has met with far more success, now that Lord Arendelle is no longer around to impede him. I might even go so far as to say the Duke looks like a new man. A new man? No, he's still being the same man. Oh, well, yes. I suppose you have me there. Regardless, I do hope that you can forgive us. Though we would very much like to make our agreement with Bridget public, doing so now would be most unwise. I have understanding. The war of seven years ago still has freshness in the minds of many. You do not want to give them cause for anger when this war has not reached its finish yet. I'm glad you appreciate the situation, as I was certain you would. All in Bridget have knowledge of our agreement. Every man, woman, and child. If it is broken, they will have knowledge of that as well. Blood would be spilling. Petra! Was that a threat? Not a threat. A concern. I know I can place trust in the word of the Empire. The Emperor would never be breaking a promise. Would she, Hubert? <laughs> I beg your pardon, Queen Petra. Clearly, I failed to realize that you had already ascended the throne. Rest assured, 
our promise will be kept. <laughs> if Her Majesty and yourself are any exact, you were being the surprised. And Bridget will support each other and walk into the future side by side. And I have certainty that you will be there witnessing it. Sprinting across the world, kicking ass. Which battlefield are you headed to? The extra quest here. I am. Uh, Fist X Magic. You are. Okay, so we're gonna replace Hubert with I'll show you. What you. A mercenary can do. It's only two, so that actually kind of saves. This one is three, though. Alright, cool. I have enough time. I still need to make 200 kills before then, though. First, take this one out. Here I go. No mistake. They must learn who they're up against. Right then. Let us go to work. We'll stand between a us and the bright new future I envision. Yeah, we can win this. Now, how do I spawn those enemies again? That's 200. Meantime, I can go that way. Get to break him. Well, right then. let us go to work. <laughs> Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up against. I'm on it. No charge. Je I'll take over. Take a breather. Welcome, Mobile Hiko.
stand aside! Quest Taker Tomb. I won't. Too much rusted junk. Uh, buenos dias, por favor. I see. All right. Resonant lightning. Right. It's so half blair, I uh true. Your last conversation with Baltus. Today's battle wasn't half bad. And minus that close call, I guess. I tell you, when I charged ahead and saw all those archers waiting for me, a single thought flashed through my mind. Not how I'd like to go, but that's life, I guess. <laughs> I was sure I was done for. What are you talking about? It was so windy, there was no way they could have gotten a clean shot at you. You completely wiped them out. Are you telling me you didn't plan it that way? I knew a breeze was blowing, but still. You're right. You would have been Balthus' size target practice if the wind died down. But you bet your life that it wouldn't, right? That's something only you could pull off. I never would have taken those odds. It was all lady luck, pal. Pure and simple. Where's this coming from, anyway? I thought you hated all that gambling on life and death stuff. I did. But you're living proof that it can have a place on the battlefield. You roll the dice and get the job done. Can't argue with success. I have to accept that your way actually works. When do I find someone to All I can do ara ara to me? Every time. Hmm. Uh, then you gotta go that. look for a MILF it's somewhere, uh, Hiko. All. Things were going great, then I got carried away and made a stupid mistake. It just so happened that the wind was blowing the right way. Otherwise I'd be dead. Quit pulling my leg. There's no way that was a coincidence. It was a complete fluke, honest. That's why I was gonna tell you I've learned my lesson. That I'm done gambling with my life. Really? <laughs> That's the best idea you've ever had. But since you admitted my way has merit, I think I'll keep rolling the dice. Wait, I've seen a message saying there works for were me, you know? 48 plus one close call make in my air. My <laughs> Wait, what? Isn't that what almost got you killed today? Nico, do you want another uh, Discord uh, account to get uh, hacked? Nope, too late. Also works. Warrior doesn't go back on their word after all. We might have had some misunderstandings along the way, but what's important is that you learned to accept me for who I am, right? In that case, what about you saying you weren't going to bet your life on this stuff anymore? A warrior doesn't go back on their word, after all. That doesn't nah, count. just wants my credit card I information. I was going to tell you. <sighs> sure, whatever you say. Your logic is flawed, but it makes a tiny bit of sense. I know, right? Uh, you're a good sport, pal. If you still want to grumble about it, we can hash things out later when we're celebrating our victory. Fine, I can live with that. It's a tough job, but someone's got to talk some sense into you. Greetings, friend. 
What do we want? Credit card information. When do we want it? Now! Allow me to assist with any matters regarding the facilities. Let me know if I may be of further service. My instruction comes at a high price. Who knew this power? Who knew this power slept within? I imagine this would I must make the most of this ability. This power will serve me. I need more strength than this. This power will serve me in the times to come. There must be more to this. This is quite fa- this is quite fascinating. We actually go to... Both this first. Can't wait to get- can't wait to get back out there! Can't wait to get back. Okay, go there. back. Not that Burn there's any getting stronger. Hope this is good for some hope this is good for something. Okay. Uh, Kaspar is most likely not going to join Ber Petra on the other hand. I work to grow. I work to grow. Okay, Jordi's broke again. Don't neglect your daily studies. <laughs> Bit. My back is still messed up. Can't mess something up that's already messed up, Zillar. Ugh. This Q already said Hiko should go to the outside world. I don't even remember me saying that yesterday. Battlefield are you oh wait, now I remember. To buy shoes. I was like, yeah, Hiko, just go outside. Go uh, buy your shoes in the actual store. Now I remember. Well, now's your time. Go out there and find your ara ara. <laughs> <laughs> we'll soon arrive at Baron Mateus's lands. Once we claim them, SQ, you know what you should do? Go outside and find your yaddy yaddy dozen. 
It's not the same thing, but still House funny. Mateus was demoted from a viscountcy to a baronage for their part in some sort of revolt. The current Baron Mateus, whose father was the previous lord, is hardly the most loyal subject of the crown. Removing him from the picture should be a simple matter. Or the aunties However, the that are single, but super hot still. Former Duke Fraldarius, who they call the Shield of Fargus. So long as he holds authority here, we won't be able to break their soldier solidarity. Rodrigue is Felix's father, right? That's unfortunate. Don't get me wrong, I'll fight whoever I need to. It just feels like we're pitted against familiar faces every time we turn around. And that isn't all. Our reports indicate the enemy has hired Gerald's mercenaries. We know from personal experience... Ew, why would I do that? <laughs> the Ashen Demon again. Say, that reminds me. What are you planning to do about that exactly? We can't keep letting one mercenary mess with our whole army. So just watch. I'm gonna take that monster out once and for all. Or at least slow them down, if nothing else. That hesitance doesn't suit you. Not anymore. You're far stronger than the last time your paths crossed. Just say the words and I'll give you all the power I can muster. We will prevail. I possess skill at leading surprise attacks, and Bernadetta would be making a good decoy. If we are all working together, we will reach our goal with much ease. I get a say in this whole decoy plan, right? I was only saying a fact, not asking you to be doing it. Please accept my apologies. Oh, okay. I hope you plan to leave some of the enemy for me. You are all so skilled. I often feel like the fifth wheel on a well-crafted carriage. Don't downplay your talents, Ferdinand. You give us courage every time we step on the field. I'm lucky to be surrounded by so many gifted leaders. With all of you at my side, there is no limit to what the Empire might achieve in the years to come. I don't have snacks. <laughs> and it's 10 p.m. Yeah. It's already 10 p.m. I wish I had snacks. Come on, Arbal. Seriously? You can't drag me off to sleep like this when the battle's about to start. Sorry, but we need to talk. Do you remember the warning I once gave you? Well, I've been struck by a similar premonition now. Something feels wrong. Very wrong. Last time this happened, the Ashen Demon showed up and nearly sent me to an early grave. You think the same thing's gonna happen today? Hard to say for sure. But the feeling's worse this time around. Stronger. So if I had to guess, I'd say they're on the cusp of something terrible. An act far more dangerous than we previously imagined. Well, whatever's happening, I'm just gonna have to stop it. So long as you don't put yourself in any unnecessary danger, yes. Remember, your death would cut both of our destinies far too short. Holy shit! This battle will greatly impact the outcome of the story. Oh shit, I don't think I like that. The enemy for a period of time by demoralizing them at the start of the battle. I think this is the plan that we're gonna go for. <clears throat> okay, uh, I'm front... let's see. Wow, this is the 
first fucking time, Balthus will not be useful. Uh, great. Well, that actually... Hmm. 30 is going then... Hubert. I don't have anyone to take care of Archer, so we do need a... Blindheart for our Hubert. I think that's a good enough set. <laughs> Succubus was the name I okay. <laughs> oh damn it. In heart, what is your tome currently? Steel tome. Nothing better. No, it's fine. Start. Our enemy has played. Okay, first. Right then. Let us go to work. Shall we sign a judent? I'm on it. I've got your back. It's burning time to shut up. I'm gonna help, okay? So, what should I be? Need a hand? Baron Mateus, front and center. All Gerald's mercenaries are over with the main position. We have no option but to defeat the enemy commander, Rodrigo. Anything beyond that requires careful consideration. It will take time to ready a path to the shore. Until then, let us begin by attacking the plain to the west. The Empire's here! No! I'm too young to die! Now there's a man. You're the lord of these lands. Show some pride. Shore up your defenses. Do not permit the enemy to break through. If we take down the stronghold surrounding him, we might convince him to lay down his arms. Clearly desperate. Oh, these projectiles will admittedly slow us down. Ha! Who are these wimps? Let's see, do we have anyone else that's strong against armor? Not really. We have Lindhart that can deal with this though. In the meantime, we're sending both Edelgards and you this way.
good job, Ferdy. Uh, I think I'm gonna make Ferdinand and search for each other. Lindhart, doing a good job there, buddy. Oh, if I must. I can't believe it's come to this. Oh shit. Oh. Uh well, there's always next time. to me there's not a question of can only a leave this to me here i go <laughs> <laughs> Wait, when was the last save that I did? System. Real quick. Because I might actually... I think I'm gonna redo that one. Reloading. We still have. We need to do a lot of item using again, though. We'll soon arrive. At oh no, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, let me redo this. I misplayed this. Okay, you birds for you. You for you. This is fine. <laughs> there is a Demon Slayer dating game. Oh my god. <laughs> Our enemy has I'm on it. No charge. I've got your back. Right there. Let shall we join hands in battle. It's Bernie's time to shine. I'm gonna help, okay? So, what should I be doing? Need a to place Baron Mateus front and center, while Gerald's mercenaries are over with the main position. We have no option but to defeat the enemy commander, Rodrigo. Anything beyond that, however, requires careful consideration. It will take time to ready a path to the shore. Until then, let us begin by attacking the plane to the west. Just wait for the nerf gear. The Empire's here. No, I'm too young to die. Now there's a pitiful man. You're the lord of these lands. Show some pride. Shore up your defenses. Do not permit the enemy to break through. Okay, uh, let's see. Oh, if I must leave this again. There's not a question of can. Same pattern as before, while I go north with Jordy. But this time, instead of taking out the Baron, we're just gonna... ...move around. The 
enemy is clearly desperate. Well, those projectiles will admittedly slow us down. There is not a question of can. Leap. Oh, if I must. Leap. Cut my way through, bro. How does my main character throw swords and then use it instantly to uh, continue killing? I am reluctant to do this, I can see no other choice. Decimated the enemy's forward position. I'm surrounded. I beg you, stay your hand. I happily surrender. I trust. Oh, if I must, leave this to me. The man, roughly as far as I can hurl him, we may find it useful. Emperor's roster shames the rest of us. I must find a way to distinguish myself. 
Continue to the northwest and finish that path to the shore. <laughs> I knew the Baron wasn't up to the task. We'll have to forestall the enemy ourselves. Move out and attack. Move out and attack. So accordingly, this battle is going to be... Uh, something this excessive. If I make the wrong choices here and there. We're preparing a fearsome magic that will lay waste to our foes. It took long for the enemy to spot our enemies. Should stage a rescue. Out of the way. There is not a question of can. Only leave this time. We intend to use their talents to ravage the battle with devastating magic. Their absence will completely alter the tide of battle. Rescuing them should be our top priority. Okay, um, you here? I'm actually gonna swap to you, birds here, because he can take quicker care of Swordsmasters. We're no strangers to love. You know the rules, and so do I. Commitment's what I'm thinking of. You wouldn't get this from any other guy. Just wanna tell you how I'm feeling. This Gotta make you understand. So far, so good. Though I'm prepared for something to go horrifically wrong any minute now. I'm all for exercising caution, Lynn, but could you not be such a wet blanket? Let's make a scene! Victory will be ours! Light stalk. What horror! This sounds like a job for Aloise. Aloise has appeared. Paladins. Here I that the idol guards. No they must we can't afford the risk. Hard to feed the sniper. Oh, if I must. We 
will soon control the area. Though I am reluctant to do this, I can see no other choice. have arrived. Might you go help our soldiers in the northwest, young mercenary? Consider it done. <laughs> Yuri has appeared with reinforcements. And I'm not going to back down now. There's at least a semi If we can pin him down, I think he is. My turn. I'll take over. Okay. Okay, let's see. You're still just slacking off there. There's not a question of can. Leave this to me. I wish I had your strength. Leave Yuri to me. Please tell me you're not pointing that thing at my beautiful face. Actually, I'm planning on like destroying you with it. <laughs> at least until you give up. Holy shit, Ferdinand. I didn't know you could summon Holy Nova. We cleared away to the shoal. We can attack from the east now. Nice. Uh, we're sending Edel Guards that way. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up against. Lintard is going that way as well. I don't want to leave this. Finally, form a pincer and bear down in Roderick's position from both sides. I won't last long trying to hold them off from two directions. Roderick is in danger. I better go back. I have to convince the Empire and more things in the round. Destroy the bridge and cut the mercenaries off from the main force! The bridge? We can't get back to Rodrigue. Rodrigue has been cut off. Move in and strike before the mercenaries can rejoin him. Here I go. No mistakes. Wait, really? Oh, that's Edelbard. Um... Where is There's not a question of can. Only a matter of will. Leave this <laughs> No, this is our chance to kill the Ashen Demon. There's no one to interfere. I have to reach the commander as soon as possible. Too soon. Let's show them the steel Vargas is made of. I will capture this stronghold. I'm taking as many of you down as I can. I'm here to end you for good. Which is my true power. Then do it if you can. Challenge like this. 
He already sees the scars of war. Byleth is defeated. There is not a question of can, only a matter of will. No, not again. I have to get out of here. Happy to see the demon flee. But that erratic behavior concerns you. Uh, Ferdy, I think I'm gonna send you somewhere you're useful for the time being. 12 minute, 12 and a half minutes past 13. 87. Wipe him out! I'll follow your lead. Okay. Not a problem. I've got my turn. Oh, you guys were already done. <laughs> Oh, will you guys get moving instead of trying to do whatever it is the fuck we're doing? Though I am reluctant to do this, I can see no other choice. I'm bringing it down. Shut up, Aloy. Aloise. Victory will be ours. This is war. I'll take over. You can't just my turn. Key. We have nothing to fear from that rabble. Now remember. There is not a quest. Remain calm and take the stronghold. I bear you no ill will, but it was your choice to come within striking distance. Here I go. No, they must learn who they're. Oh, if I. left 300 kills this is just the beginning not her Pegasus night Just keep spawning from this side. Super annoying. The Empire will not be impeded. 
good. Here I go. No, Oh, if I must. So you really saying is that the best you can do? The end of the match? Forgive me, Felix. No, it's not. Protect his majesty. And Farkas. Let me guess. Last stop, behind. The enemy commander has been defeated. Grant no quarter to any soldiers who refuse to surrender. I leave to take care of one backup squad and come back to this? What a mess. I'm not even going to make the time limit. Are you kidding me? See how's everyone doing over here? You're taking your fucking sweet ass time, that's for sure. Here I go. No, they Gerald doesn't stand a chance against her highness, the Empress. Well, at least we're gonna make the kills. <laughs> Time I'm gonna go help. Nah, it's fine.
You'll make a fine substitute. Stronger folks than you have tried and failed to claim the Blade Breaker's head. My arm. That's not good. What? Looks like you finally beat me. About time my luck ran out. Guess I'm overdue. The rest is up to you, kid. Yes, mistress. I'm a pervert. I defeated the Blade Breaker. I can't believe it. Don't worry about me. Just go. Hurry. I won't. Please, Flesh. <laughs> Randolph, I'm so sorry. You're gone forever, and it's all because of me. It's all my fault. Enough. You know that's not true. But he could have escaped, and instead he stayed behind to protect me. And that's why that... that... In that case, the fault is mine. I had the Ashen Demon cornered and couldn't close the deal. And then Gerald gave me so much trouble that I wasn't able to reach you in time. I could have prevented all this if I'd just been a little quicker, a little better. That's not true. You saved me. That wasn't me. It was Randolph. He gave his life for yours. I know there's nothing I can say that's gonna help. So instead, I'll let my sword do the talking. When I cut the Ashen Demon down... You're more than capable of it, too. You had that monster right in your grasp. I only wish my premonition hadn't come true. Now, not that much had gone to shit. Gerald's... gone? No. This is all my fault. I let them walk all over me. I left him unprotected. I'm sorry, Captain. I'm so sorry. It is what it is. Mercenaries live short lives. It did not have to be like this. Had you not scorned my strength, your father would yet live. The 
captain was a true titan among men. I can't believe he's gone. There is a way to solve this woe. Just grant to me your worldly flesh, and vengeance shall be yours. We must now send the whelp that killed your father to an early grave. Do you mind taking command for a while, Aloise? There's something I need to do. Well, yes, of course, but surely I can aid you. No. This task is mine alone. Very well. But don't you dare get yourself killed. <sighs> Fetters of Dromi. First time clear, Master Seal. This was one fucking heavy battle, yo. Hey, did we finally get a better sword? Shield made of shining silver. Killer tome? Damn. <laughs> Yuri is now playable, trickster. Commander, the former Duke Fraldarius has been defeated. Now Mateus' territory and all the western lands of Fargus will yield as one to the Empire. Still, this battle came at a far greater cost than we are used to paying. This is the most dead and wounded we have ever faced in a battle. Not to mention the loss of General Randolph. And yet... We might finally be rid of one of the greatest thorns in our collective side. Eliminating Captain Gerald was a masterstroke. If we are lucky, his band will fall apart without him. Or it may throw them into a vengeful fury that makes them stronger and more united than ever. That's going to be a problem, especially with the Ashen Demon still roaming the land unchecked. Demon! Intriguing figure, that one. And a crest bearer for certain. We'd be smart to step lightly. Guess that explains where all the awesome power is coming from. But the Ashen Demon doesn't strike me as nobility, and only nobles have crests. I'd posit the man standing next to you doesn't exactly exude nobility either. The demon's hair exhibits new color. It is like something from one of Bridget's old stories. One will be chosen by the spirits and granted their protection. And with that protection, great power. Can I just go on the record and say no to vengeance? I have zero interest in being revenged upon. That's zero the interest. one takes when entering battle, Bernadetta. Sadly, you can't take up arms and not expect reprisal. We have no control over whether they come for us or not. We can only control what we do next. No way! No one's making me take my medicine! If you insist on continuing to interrupt Her Majesty, you will have far more immediate things to fear than an enemy's nebulous vengeance. <laughs> Come to think of it, has anyone seen our mercenary friend? I know what I told Flaish, but did I really do the right thing? Of course. You did what no one else could. The Ashen Demon may have escaped, but you got rid of their captain. There's no question you've grown, and next time, the Ashen Demon will fall. But so many people died, including Randolph. A price must always be paid for victory. 
And besides, Randolph is just one man. One man who was hand-picked by Edelgard, just like me. One man who shared all of our struggles. He was a good man and a fine ally, and now he's dead because of me. I had no idea you cared so much. All the more reason to finish what you started. You can still make this death mean something, and I can give you the strength to do so. Now cheer up! Seeing you sad like this makes me... Makes you what? Yes, it, it makes me very... something. Tight in the chest. Anyway, stop frowning at me. I don't like it. No matter what anyone else tells you, I'm the closest ally you have. Remember, we're partners in destiny. Are you prepared for this? Honestly, I don't know. <coughs> Gerald wouldn't want this. He didn't believe in vengeance for vengeance's sake. Indeed. You could not be more right. Revenge is not a thing you take for someone else. You seek revenge to slake your rage and heal your wounded heart. I know you are prepared to do whatever that you must. <sighs> I could do this by force, you know. Be grateful then that I asked for your leave at all. You're right. This has to come from me. And I accept your power. Help me win, no matter, no matter what, what it takes. It takes. Oh, oh, shit. Yes. You shall make a most worthy vessel after all. And now, behold all that I have discovered at the edge of time. Sophis wasn't this evil sounding though in the original game. Scarlet Blaze. Heroic Bloodlines. Through a new pact with the Leicester Alliance, Edelgard can direct her might at the kingdom. And though it comes at no small price, her forces steadily gain the upper hand. But the kingdom does not stand idly by. Dimitri rallies the Western Lords, led by House Dominic, blood of one of the ten elites in a last-ditch effort to forestall the Empire. No, brother. Anything but that. You cannot force the relic onto Annette. Calm yourself. I've merely bade her wield it, not sent her rushing off into the teeth of the enemy. It's all right, Father. I know I'm the only one who can do this. Just seeing the crest of Dominic and our hero's relic is going to improve everyone's morale. It shames me to thrust this task on you, when it should have fallen to that craven son of mine. Yes, I doubt we can expect Simon to return and wield the relic, considering how quickly he abandoned us. It seems I raised him poorly, yes. I should have taught him how our house managed to survive this long without starving or freezing. Don't look so sad, Uncle. I'll gladly carry the burden until Simon returns. But, Annette... Enough, Father. Stop worrying. After all, this is nothing compared to what the soldiers are going through at the front. So many people are fighting and dying out there. Some of them my good friends. I'm not going to cower in safety while they struggle. Especially when I'm in the best position to help. Forgive me, Annette. If you sense any danger at all, child, promise me that you'll run. I couldn't bear to lose you. I know, Father. So let's just all do the best we can to keep our land safe. The mirror 
we get to blade the territory, the more resistance we're likely to face. The lords surrounding the capital are the most loyal to the crown. We have Geraint, Enid, Brennius, and Bellinus. There is no telling whether these houses will choose subjection or destruction. Regardless, we cannot simply ignore them as we attempt to march on the capital. We must seize control of each of their lands and establish footholds before continuing on. The Alliance is still doing everything we expected of them. There are no changes on that front. So as long as we continue tightening the vice around the kingdom, we're certain to fulfill your majesty's goals. Glad to hear it about the Alliance. Does this mean the war will be over soon? I feel some actual motivation coming on. Well, in that case... Nope, nope, never mind, motivation gone. That was a close one, Bernadetta. You almost got yourself assigned to the front lines. As for me, you know what to do. Just put me right at the front and let me start wrecking stuff. We shall see who does more wrecking of stuff, Kaspar. I will not be letting you outshine me. Watch as I am bringing glory to Bridget and the Empire on the battlefield. I wonder if I'll find someone worth marrying before this war is over. Of course you will, Dorothea. You're amazing. Enough. It's easy to let your guard down when the end is in sight, and we can't fall victim to that. Stay disciplined, and together we will take Fodlin's future in hand. Stay disciplined. Don't worry, Edelgard. We're ready to get this done. That goes doubly so for me. I must ready myself for the final clash that looms in the coming days. Right then. Let's start by taking care of the enemy in front. Battle suggestions. Hmm. I have the most brilliant idea. What do you think of this? I have an idea. What do you think? Hey, what do you think of? I will handle it. Shall we? Edelgard can chat with Kaspar. I think that's enough for one day. <laughs> you really know how to make me work up a sweat. You kept me on my toes as well, Kaspar. Thank you. Hey now, you'll never have to twist my arm to get me to train. Just shout when you want to go again. Oh, and we should invite Raphael next time. The muscles on that guy are something else. I'll keep that in mind. I often have trouble finding people to spar with. No surprise there. Not like folks are lining up for a chance to knock the Emperor's teeth out. You seem to have no problem coming after my teeth. Sometimes I think you're trying to kill me. What? No! I, I mean, I only do it because I know you can handle it, right? Look, just don't say anything to Hubert, okay? If he finds out we're sparring, he'll have me cut into pieces and dumped into the nearest river for sure. <laughs> he already knows. I convinced him that I need the training if I'm to stand on the front lines. Well, that's a relief. So, uh, why do you, by the way? Uh, fight on the front lines, I mean. You're an incredible fighter, but the Empire would be in deep, deep trouble if anything happened to you. And it's not like you're after the glory like I am. Shouldn't you just hang back and send us orders from some distant hilltop? Seems like it goes pretty hard against that rationality thing you're always talking about. Caspar? 
Lecturing me on what's sensible? I must be dreaming. But yes, you're right. It's not entirely rational. See? I'm a thinking man sometimes. That's not to say I don't have a rational reason. My presence on the front lines improves morale, and my skill betters our hope of victory. So long as I don't fall in battle, taking the field is the smartest thing I can do. Right, sure. So, what's the unrational part? <sighs> the emotional side. I can't stand the idea of remaining safe while friends and comrades alike risk their lives for our cause. You're all out there on my command, taking lives from others and giving your own in return. It doesn't seem fair for me to do any less. Except that you're the Emperor. And I say the Emperor should help. Hey, I get it. You want to get in the dirt with the rest of us to pull your weight, right? You and me are the same in that way. Uh, a dreadful suggestion, but I'll allow it. Oh, come on. You should be happy. Here I thought we were completely different people, but it turns out there's a little Caspar in you after all. Well, that doesn't sound weird at all. Lording over us from far away. You work best when you're down in the mud with the rest of us, sending chumps flying. If there's a little Caspar in me, perhaps it's time to put a bit of someone else in you. Oh, that angry face. Someone with manners, perhaps? <laughs> Jesus yeah, Christ. No thanks. You know all that politeness would only hold me back. Hubert, what do you make of the Ashen Demon? Aside from having proven to be both impossibly powerful and a constant thorn in our side. Though we paid dearly for it, the nuisance's father died by our hand. I imagine the brat is unlikely to be tickled about that. Indeed. If only we'd won the demon over to our side when we had the chance. Why do you bring this up, your majesty? Is there something on your mind? I'm not entirely sure myself. <laughs> My apologies, Hubert. Pay me no mind. Like as not, I am overthinking the situation. Surely you realize that telling me to pay this no mind only gives me greater cause for concern? <laughs> I didn't mean to worry. Oh, you. <laughs> Yordi needs to go to groceries tomorrow, and Yordi doesn't want to. I just felt... Uh, I don't know. As if something was drawing me to the Ashen Demon. I wonder, could it be the influence of my crest? Your crest? Now I am truly becoming concerned. Forget it. Whatever it means, we'll never know. We'll meet the demon in battle and let this mystery die there. As you wish. Your different universe. Adel Arts so in a different universe. The you were married to the Ashen Demon. I thought you might say as much. Do as you must. Honestly, Hubert, you never change, do you? When I emerged from beneath the palace all those years ago, you acted as though nothing had happened. Do not worry, you said. I took the liberty to investigate while you were indisposed. For the record, my blood was boiling. However, as there were others present, I kept still my tongue. I could not risk showing my anger, lest they find a way to turn it against you. My role to play is the cold, crafty, unreadable servant. I am happy with the casting. So let us leave it at that. I'm certain you are. 
But just once, I'd like to see our roles reversed. Your Majesty, you cannot possibly be serious. <sighs> not in the slightest. I'm well aware I am not cut out for the kind of work you do. Nonsense. There is nothing beyond your capability. That said, I prefer you best when you are the one in charge. Command me as you see fit. No matter how daunting or impossible the task may be, I will come through every time without fail. Thank you, Hubert. It's good to know that I can always rely on you. Blushing! Blushing! Okay. Oh, nope. We have another thing to talk with Clash Paw and Baltish. Baltish! Well. Did, did have to use so much solve. Solve s huh? spit. Oh, you got me good, friend. I can see. Yes, I won. You didn't fight like yourself today, and I mean that in a good way. You fended off everything I had, then saw an opening at the last second, and really showed me what's what. You turned my own height advantage against me. I never saw it coming. Yeah, it was quite the ending, all right. That said, it wasn't my idea to fight like that. Linhart mentioned it was the only way for me to beat someone with your height. Still, even if it wasn't your idea, you're the guy who put it into action. So no need to be humble. Puff that chest out for Linhart's sake. I'll do just that. But now I found myself with a new goal to worry about. This victory came from me getting outside advice. Next time, I want to win it all by myself. Hey, it's okay to have ambitions in junk, but... Look, if you ask me, I think there's more value in winning with someone than in smashing skulls alone. Wait, you do? You do both this? Yep. When it comes to a fist, the more people behind the punch, the stronger it gets. Me, for example, I've got Holst backing me up. That guy's helped me tons of times in my life. You're old childhood friends, right? Sure are. We're two peas in a rotten pod. Although right now, each pea is off in a different place. But I know we'll see each other again somewhere down the road. Not a doubt in my mind. Both of us gets in killed. Case, I <laughs> guess Linhart is my host. We're the same, you and me. Warriors who fight with childhood buds backing up their fists. Except that our friends aren't the tiniest bit alike in terms of personality or military skill. Nothing wrong with that. It's natural for folks in different positions to have different ways of life. All you and I can do now is live life. Look at this both as being got. smart ass. If you train with all your heart, you can live and die without a single regret. Yeah, you're right. We've got nothing but fighting. So let's fight and fight and fight until this war is over. Oh, hang on, pal. I've got money and women to think about, too, you know. And I've got martial arts, brawling, and hand-to-hand -hand combat to think about. That's all fighting! <laughs> hey, at least we know that Casper doesn't think with his dick. <laughs> You must harness your emotions and continue working towards our goal. The sorrow and regrets will undoubtedly make you stronger. That's how humans work. At least as far as I'm aware. Hmm. Hello. The Alliance is fighting well and keeping pace with the Empire for the moment. Therefore, I have managed to avoid feeling any shame thus far, however. Let's see. 
I thought we were getting along with the Alliance just fine, but something in your voice tells me that's not everything peachy over there. How close we may be to someone, those ties could be severed in an instant. Crap, I forgot to turn off the... Thankfully, we can read it from here. Uh, in an instant, that has been my experience, at least. I always go to Monica when I don't know Her Majesty's whereabouts. A lot of people do that, don't they? But hey, somehow she always knows. Wouldn't mind asking Hubert, but he's even hard to track down. And a little scary at that. Neither Her Majesty nor Monica have any idea where he could be. It's not funny. It's definitely something. Seeing people get killed in battle is really sad, whether they are a friend or an enemy. Still, I'm glad that I haven't gotten so used to it that it doesn't affect me. Let's see. Yeah, I think that's a good thing. I've gotten too used to it myself, but you should stay the way you are, really? You say that, but I know deep down you're kind-hearted softy. Kind-hearted softy. Number of noble lords without crests is steadily growing within the Empire. Heard th that there are practically no lords without them in the kingdom. The only exception would be Baron Dominic. There was no crest bearer in his generation. However, his heir bears a crest, and I seem to remember that his niece, Annette, does as well. Woo! Running around at the speed of sound. By the way. Hey, don't you think our camp has an unusual number of cats and dogs running around? Do you think they're. Nah, that can't be. Never mind. Spikes? <laughs> Animal shapeshifters? Glad we did not have to fight against my adoptive father and everyone else in the Alliance. But we'll never make amends with the Kingdom and Central Church, will we? They may be our enemy, but they're still human. No, Rhea isn't. She's a dragon. I'm reluctant to take the lives of those whom I bear no ill will. I wonder if we're actually going to be able to fight Dragon Rhea at some point. All right, so... I think I've been here before, but I don't exactly recognize anything. Seems like all my old friends have died too. Should probably just forget about this place. The fuck is she talking about? Trobador. I cannot review my identity. Identity of various reasons, but I can tell you I escaped from Fergus. I joined the caravan and made the journey here. I know I would have met my end on the battlefield had I stayed in the kingdom. That is where his job is not. My father, my uncle as well. Ha! All I can do is pray for peace through my songs. He is not a warrior, it seems. Tension are growing at the border between the Kingdom and the Alliance, which means trading in the North is wrong right now. No wonder no one wants to get caught up in the fighting and there are bandits and mercenaries staring up trouble. If I want to take the safe route, I have to go through Gergmog. But that means passing through the mountains, which is such a major expense. Balthus, Constance, Happy, all the unusual suspects are here. Till two years ago, I lived with them underground as part of the Ashen Wolf and Wolf's house. I mean, he's also a DLC character, apparently. Hmm. Don't remember that house from the Office oh. Academy. It was called a house, but really it was a home for young ones who had no place left to go in the world. I, it, was it was a comfortable place for people with special circumstances like us. I carry a little of everything here. Can I buy anything? Ooh, give me that. Quality, friend. Hope to see you again soon. Come to think of it. When I heard the Empire was going to war, I honestly had no clue what they were thinking. But now I see that our victories keep pushing us close towards our goals. I'm glad we got this far. I gotta do all I can 
<laughs> I'm gonna do all I can, especially to honor my friends who died in battle. Swell, dude. Swell. Gatekeeper son! Greetings, Commander. Nothing to report. No one has tried to breach the gates yet. But as we head deeper into enemy territory, there's no telling how long that might hold true. If our enemies show up, I swear they won't get past me, at least I hope. Ah, uh, this guy. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. Gandalf, you should do something to distract yourself, please. Maybe you could do some sword practice at the training grounds. Oh, I could go with you if you need a partner. Hmm. Brother is dead! How could I think about training right now? I... I don't know. You need to get stronger if you want to survive or if you want revenge. Why you're still here? Yes, you're right. <laughs> Poor Fleesh. Flesh, eh? Whatever. Please be listening. We're going more north in the kingdom. It's very cold there. When I am cold, I am moving slower. It is dangerous if I use a weapon the wrong way. Roland else is amazing though. I cannot be doing the same. <laughs> Actually got a slightly better killing edge. It's super chill. I should probably start continue upgrading Edelgard's pressed weapon. Hubert. Killer Tome. Do we have any better spears in the meantime? No. sure this is still the best bow that I have. Let's upgrade her weapon as well. I used to be with, Ger with Gerald's mercenaries, but then our captain died, remember? I didn't think they had much of a future after that, so I got hired here. How can I serve? Lion's General, well, the Imperial Army is incredible. Everyone is so daring, and they win every battle. The Alliance Army is at a loss with how to proceed, so I came to report and apologize. Oh, what a nice guy. Excuse me, actually been thinking about what it would take to reopen the officer's academy when the war is over, of course. Wouldn't be all at all similar to how it used to be, but still. Edelgard and Ferdinand were downright enthusiastic when I suggested They said they would start making preparations right away. <laughs> they really are good kids. Are they still kids, though? I guess anyone can get cut down before they hit their prime, even me. I doubt Randolph regretted how it went down. He gave his all, and what happened, happened. Oh. Just hope Fleesh feels the same. Fleesh Fletchy. Uda, Uda, Uda. Lenato ordered my siblings to take refu refugee in the Empire. Oh, no. Hope they're all okay. Barely had any time to write to them. Most of them was so amazed when I became a knight. He was happier than anyone else. It scares me to think about whether he'd still be proud of me for all I've done. King Dimitri is supposed to be ridiculously powerful, right? 
If we ended up clashing, I want a piece of him. Never met an enemy I couldn't break with my fist. Oh, uh, except Holst. Wait, and Count Berkeley's too. Whatever. I'm sure I'll be able to handle Dimitri. Bring it on! How can I be of service? Northern part of the kingdom we have Gothier, Fral, Darius, Sharon, and Daphnel. All those houses descend from the ten elites. Their loyalty to House Bladiot is by and large as solid as iron. By comparison, nobles in this area low morale, which makes them easier enough to deal with. House Dominic is the only exception, even though territory is already in their empire control, they also descended from the Ten Elites. Their lord and his family escaped. They hear their other nobles have dragged them out. They're trying to make them fight. <clears throat> The Ashen Demon Byleth, the Ashen Demon, quite a formidable warrior. We'll soon meet again on the battlefield. All I can do is pray to hasten the coming of that day. <laughs> Perhaps a woman such as she could slay me, and the demon within. Still don't know why he's such a fucking, like, dark... Dark guy when it comes to that. I'm really glad. Lately I've been getting this feeling. I'm really glad I was born in the Empire. I really fight the kingdom, I can't help but think how they've been having such a hard time. What do you think of the Alliance then? Sounds like you've given this some thought. What? Huh? It's not what I'm talking about right now. Of course it's not what she's talking about right now. Get your head in the game, Yordi! Fuck, numeral spots in this area are connected to saints. Did someone already explain that to you? The Rodal's coast in the north honors Saint Chihol, and the south there's Lake Beates, which is Saint Index Holy Ground. I'd go and see them if I wasn't in the army. It just isn't fair. Let's see. Yeah, it's too bad. Guess you'll just have to go when the war's mm -hmm. over, huh? You're not the first person to tell me that. But still, it's disappointing to have to wait. And wait you shall. Do you have a moment? If our battle continues to go smoothly, then we'll be able to see Ferdiat one day. You daydreaming about exploring the city again? <laughs> you realize we're going for a brawl, right? Let's see. But if we win the battle, then you'll be able to take your time and explore. You're right, I'll make mm. sure we win. Fighting so you can be a tourist? Well, I guess everyone's got their reasons. You now what's wrong with that, yo? Stay, uh, Let's see. The closer we come to ending this war, the more likely they are going to make a move. If their goal is to spread chaos throughout Flotland, that is. Hey. You mean those who slither in the dark, right? Yes, we have no way of telling when they might make a move, so please stay alert. Hmm. Mercedes, I wonder if it's not too late to put a stop to all this fighting. Warring with every warring with everyone in the kingdom is just I don't know. If Out Dominic is leading the Fergus force, then Annie will definitely be at the battle. There's no way I could hurt her. She's my best friend. Been together forever. What do you think? What if you thought of a way to win the fight without killing her? That's an idea. Let's see what I can come up with. How can I serve? We must finish this war with the kingdom before winter comes. It's true winter had just ended when we resumed fighting, but we can expect many more delays in the future. Delay, delay, delay. I hear the central church's headquarters in Kalmus, which is south of Ferdian. I'm not sure where Rhea is, though. Let's see. Like all the church people that can fight are working with the royal army. Which means she's probably in Ferdian, right? Could be. She's definitely a lot tougher than she looks. She's definitely a lot tougher than she looks. <clears throat> At long last, Her Majesty's ambitions are about to become a reality, which means my own dream will soon come to fruition as well. How positively thrilling. What do you think? Let's say congratulations are in order. We might be putting a chart for the horse a bit, but do you want to celebrate it anyway? Certainly putting many charts before many horses. 
but I do appreciate sentiment. I hope you will congratulate me again when Lady Edward makes my dream a reality. I know that war brings sacrifice, but going forward, I want to prevent it as much yeah. as possible. And I mean both sides, though I doubt that will be easy. Ah. And Dolph Gerald. There were a lot of deaths on both sides this time around, yes. I must do all that I can to create a better future for their sakes as well. Now we are co cooperating with the Alliance, front lines have never been more stable. Certain that if we continue steadily and with equanimity, both the Kingdom and the Knights of Fergus will fall. The problem is that I doubt they will be content to stand by and watch. You mean those who slither in the dark, right? Indeed. As Salas has mysteriously vanished, we remain unaware of his movements. We must be wary. Yeah, we actually talk to everyone again. Well, Jesus Christ. I know I literally don't have to do that, like, talking to everyone. Any results are good results. <sighs> but I just can't help it. There's Igswarts. Ignorts. Igswarts. Nuts, what you're eating? Wow, yeah, he definitely didn't hear me. Hey, Ignats, Ignats, what? What? oh, it's oh. you. It's you. Can you please try to not sneak up on me like that? I'm sorry about that. I was trying to talk to you, but it didn't seem like anything was getting through. Looks like you're really into that book, or whatever it is. What's it about? It doesn't look like battle tactics at the very least. You're right. This is the Traveler's Journal. It chronicles places that lie beyond Fodland's borders. You've seriously been lugging books around with you? Though I admit, that does sound like a good one. Yes, it's fascinating. The author's unknown, but whoever it was really traveled to all these places and documented everything. It's amazing how vastly things can differ depending on where you are, like the plants or the animals or even the ore in the ground. And of course, the way people live in those areas is so diverse too, like their food and their clothes. But what's most interesting to me is the architecture. Ruins in Fodlin contain ancient architectural styles that are, for some reason, also found on faraway islands. All right, all right. I get the picture. You talk like you've seen it all firsthand. <laughs> well, I really try to place myself in the author's shoes when I read. So I guess in a way, I have. I'd love to visit all those places myself, but that's easier said than done. Especially since I became a knight. The way you say that makes me think you never wanted to be a knight in the first place. Oh, no! No, no, of course I did. At any rate, both my father and my brother are pleased that it's official. Sounds to me like you became a knight for them. That's not it at all. I'm very happy with my decision, honest. Even though you can't go off traveling? Yeah, getting sent out to different locations for battle is kind of the same thing. Oh, but of course the mission always comes first. It's not like I go off wandering whenever I feel the urge. Uh-huh. But you would if you could, right? Why do you keep asking me about this? All these leading questions, they're... they're uncalled for. I might not be able to travel of my own volition, but I can read books and go wherever I want in my imagination. And that's good enough for me. Uh-huh, good enough for you, uh... Sir, uh, does not think a lot. 
Oh wait, I can still expand facilities. That was the other thing that I need to do. Allow me to assist with any matters regarding the facilities. Let me know if I may be of further service. Let me know if I may be of further assistance. Time to work you into shape. Let's see who of my stinky dinky classes are not Dark Bishop. I wish this was for. Uh, do I have anything else? Yeah, we can turn Caspar into a Wyvern Lord. Yep, feels like me. Yep, feels like me. Uh, only Dorothea Monica still needs to reach master training, you'll be we're most likely going to get training there the soon between victory and defeat. uh change mariana to what lineheart sure <sighs> diligent training Swap Manuela for Caspar. This will help me break new balance. Learn the ability to creation. Money. That sounds hella sick. I imagine this. Bow breaker. Oh, finally. You with proper training, you'll be unstoppable. Convoy. Set abilities. The creation. Clearly prevents knockback if at least one bar of the warrior gauge is filled. Sick. Focus strike and armor strike. <sighs> okay, let's get everyone motivated. Motivation, motivated, so motivation. Hunger is the truth. Or at least let's get everyone to the brim with food first sure we'll do Shamir and Lindhart we're most likely going to have another dialogue thingy with you no, come on hey perfect that's the first one in a long while someone knows for me Come back whenever you're hungry. Hunger is the true enemy. Yeah. 
Saj. Wait for me. Wait for me? Really? I love this Come stuff. Back you're hungry. Hunger is the true enemy. Hunger is the true enemy. Pet. Let's do Monica and too many people. Too many people. Come back whenever you're hungry. Hunger is the true enemy. Get as many stat boosts. How did you know I love? Oh. Even though I completely failed at making it. Come back whenever you're hungry. You're welcome, Hunger ladies. True enemy. Okay. Come back whenever you're hungry. Care to make yourself useful? Always. Get some motivation in there. The violet. Yes. We all must do our fair share. Care to make yourself uh, useful? Volunteer. Dorothea and Manuela or something. You obtained one reality. We all must do our fair share to make yourself useful. Last one. Care for the horses. What chick horses? What chick? Happy and Lawrence or something. We all must do our fair share. Okay. That's all done. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, hey, Happy. You sure like the outdoors, huh? I guess you could say that. Probably because I grew up in a forest. Or maybe it's because I was forced to live in Abyss all that time. Oh, that's right. You were at Garrick Mach too. I wasn't there for very long, but I never would have guessed there was a whole town hiding just below my feet. Well, it was. I should know. What about you, though? What did you do before hopping into the mercenary business? Before that? Oh, well... I lived with my mom in a village deep in the mountains. Feels like forever ago now. Oh, I call her my mom, but we weren't actually related. She was more like a foster parent. So what was she like? I don't suppose she was interested in magical research, was she? I don't know about research, but yeah, she knew how to use magic. Interesting. How did you two end up living together? I don't really know the details. I can't remember anything from before I was with her. Apparently, I was a foundling. Sadly, finding a starving, abandoned child isn't that uncommon. But for her to take me in and raise me as her own, I think my mom was someone special. Yeah, I guess. She was probably a good person. Something on your mind, Happy? I was just wondering why someone who could use magic was living in a remote mountain village. You know, someone told me one time that she wasn't actually from there. But when I asked her about it, she just gave me this sad smile. Hmm. Very interesting. Seriously, Happy, what's going on? Does it have something to do with my mom? No, it's nothing. Sorry to bring it up. 
I was just letting my imagination get the better of me. Sorry if I upset you, really. I'm fine. Besides, I'm sure you had your reasons, right? If you ever feel like talking about it, I'm always here. Thanks. Just some old demons of mine. Happens to the best of us. Don't sweat it. You want to head back and get something to eat? Sure. Oh, and we can pick some berries on the way. I think I saw some... What kind? After all my time in the mountains, I... Berry expert! <laughs> Ooh, we're maxed out with Lindy. So in the end, it seems we're no closer to unveiling the truth about your powers. You can say that again. At this rate, the war will be over and done with by the time we make any headway. That would admittedly be cause for celebration, at least. Your power, like that of a crest, is undoubtedly meant to be wielded as an instrument of war. And as the tides of battle recede, your chances of encountering a life-or-death situation grow slimmer and slimmer. Oh, don't worry. Therefore, you'll be forced to use your power less and less often. And that's probably for the best. True. The less reason to unleash this on the world, the better. You know, they say even a hero's relic, wielded by its corresponding crest bearer, will still drain a portion of that person's life. It's reasonable to suspect your power could have a similar impact on both your body and mind. Hey, you're starting to scare me here. Honestly, I was just planning on going back to being a regular old mercenary after yes, the war. Mistress. Ends. I'm a I'm pervert. pervert. Can't really imagine life without a blade in my hand, you know? I should have guessed. I imagine your expert services will be in high demand even once the conflict is over. In fact, Edelgard herself seemed keen on asking you to settle down in Imbar to support the Empire. Really? Not that I'm not flattered, of course, but putting down roots isn't really my thing. No, I suppose not. Though I have to admit, it would put my mind at ease to have you by my side once this is all over. You want me by your side? Would you care to elaborate on that? Consider the possibilities. A seemingly unarmed attendant who's able to produce a sword in the blink of an eye. It would be a great crime deterrent, don't you think? You prove quite handy on my travels. <laughs> I figured that's what you meant. A pure Linhart answer if I've ever heard one. But how's that any different from a regular bodyguard? Seems like you could just hire one of those and be done with it. Maybe so, but I don't want to be spending the rest of my life with a random bodyguard, do I? Oh, hold on, what? Oh, well, look at the time. It seems I've forgotten an urgent matter I need to attend to. Bye for now. Wait, Linhart! Come back! Back here. B -b 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 back here. Seems I'm alone. Are you here, little one? Aw, were you waiting for me? You're a good kitty, aren't you? Guess who brought you some fish? Hey, easy there. No need to wolf it down. Yeah. Oh, you want more? Well, just stay put while I... Edelgard? Oh, fascinating. I never imagined I'd run into you in a place like this. Oh, Linhart, uh, uh, every problem, most, most likely so everyone you go was C rank for. I was having a nap over there. Such is the price for pulling so many all nighters. Though I pay it gladly. 
Over there, as in, right over there? Immediately so? Does that mean you saw... Ow! Well, well. A cat. Does it live here? How should I know? I've certainly never seen it before this very moment. Really? Because it seems quite used to you. Yes, it... Uh, <laughs> oh, come out with it already. If you have something to say, just speak and stop this interminable dance. No, no. In fact, I like cats as well. Especially ones that live near people. You, a cat person. I never thought I'd hear you say that. Why not? I find them charming. You have to admire the way they draw people in with their cuteness only to be waited on hand and foot. Linhart, people don't take care of cats just because they're cute. Cats rid us of rodents and other vermin. They are fine pets who bring much solace to their owners. As I see it, people and cats have a good relationship because we do things for each other. Well, I wonder how the cats see it. Because it appears to me that they're just doing things their way and don't really care about anyone else. Now there's a charmed existence. Live as selfishly as you like and have people lavish you with praise and affection for it. Not to mention they'll never run out of food. Which just shows how much people value them. What does it matter if they're being selfish? To be honest, I'm surprised you have an opinion about cats at all. Have you owned one previously? Because I could use your advice if so. Please, do I look like the sort of person to take on that kind of responsibility? You do not, hence my surprise. Ah, uh, wait, now I get it. I was wondering why you were being so cross with me. You're thinking about keeping this cat. But the implication that cats and I both want to lead the same easy life spoils the idea for you. What? I mean... <sighs> yes, that's it. You've caught me. Linhart, listen. If you aspire to be a pet, that is your decision and yours alone. However, if you expect people to bend over backward for you, the least you can do is work for it. The problem with you is that you always... Please, your majesty, let's not do this now. Look, the kitty cat wants you to snuggle, Wuggle. <coughs> Silly enemy shit has to happen every now and then, right? <sighs> Which battlefield are you headed to? Thirty eight. so hot in my room. I wanted to do one more battle before I actually end the stream tonight. Okay, let's see. We got X. We got Spear Destruction. We got... Lindhart being a Dark Bishop. A Dork Bishop. Ha ha ha! I'm so funny. Uh, that's it. Last one can be anything we fucking want. Let's go with Caspar, because why the fuck not? Okay, let's go. My back also hurts. What did you do, SQ? Did, why, why does your back hurt all of a sudden? Stay safe. 
Okay, uh, you go this way. They must learn who they're up against. Um. Let us go to work. Go this way. I will see. So, what should I be doing again? Kill this motherfucker, like and I'm just gonna charge place. north. I will ensure that what needs to be done is done. Order, order, order! Not a problem. I've got it. Stand back. Watch this! This stronghold will fall! Here I go. No mistakes. If I may. Retreat! How does that please you? Right then. Let us go to work. Yeah, I wanna play a bit as flying Casper. It's really dope, not gonna lie. I haven't actually used or looked any of Caspar's bonuses. Does that kill? Nice. Watch this. If I may. Take a breather. Here it comes. Here I go. Everyone, here I go. No, they must learn who they're up against. Right. <laughs> Move out! <laughs> Level up. This commoner is getting murdered! How dare you! He is just a commoner! It said commoner. Right then. You go attack this one while I take out this guy. Guard doing no her mistakes. duties. They must learn who they're up against. So, what should I be doing again? Take this. Ah! How much time? Three minutes. Easy. Boom!
<laughs> it always hurts, she says. Thankfully, that's not the case for me. It doesn't always hurt on my end. My accomplishments won't mean a thing if I'm not still standing when the battle's over. You're worth a thousand souls. won't be a problem anymore. Ooh. Flyers. Um. So, what should I be doing again? Sure, let's try it. Right then. Let us go to... Get your bollocks over here! Casper just went fucking mayhem on that guy's face. If I just stay focused. Well, nice S rank. That's what we like to see. Extra large bullion. Gotta save up some money again to get to the right. Ooh, this is some strong silver gauntlet. Get everyone to the right level again. Which is five levels higher than currently. Oh no, Chetty. Hubert, have you learned anything about my father's whereabouts? Nothing. We've not the faintest idea what he is up to. If we are lucky, he will be naught but a corpse by the wayside. I know that sounds cruel, but frankly, his death would do us a great service. You remain as blunt as the blacksmith's anvil. Still, I cannot deny the truth of what you say. I still think it for the best if he is taken into custody and given a fair trial under imperial law. And yet, at times, a different thought manages to creep in around the edges of my mind. There is a part of me, a very small part, granted, that hopes he has found a quiet life for himself somewhere out of the way. 
A man can strive for a bucolic life all he wants, but he will never have it. Adrastia looks to be at peace, but beneath the surface, many disagree with the Emperor's ways. Make no mistake. These dissidents will seek out your father and prop him up as their leader. Yes, I suppose he will never stop being the former Prime Minister and a symbol of the old regime. But a Fremen as you do. I am right, and you know it. Make your peace with it. Once a man strays from the path, there is no guiding him back. I disagree. I believe we all deserve a second chance. In any case, if you find out anything about my father, be sure to inform me. I almost wish they did prop the man up. Because perhaps then... Ah, but no. Either way, it seems I will have to start taking more serious precautions. I only hope he can settle things with his father in one manner or the other. Just as I did. Uh -huh. Really care what we take. Another cursed swords. A brave sword. That sounds more like something that you already wants. <laughs> Ow. Uh what was I gonna do again? Supplies are the I had something in my mind that was like I need to do this and I Completely lost. Everything has its use. What it was. Bruh. Who shivers? I wonder what the max stats in this game are. Carry a little of everything here. A little of everything, you say. <laughs> but you don't carry any useful things, you good sir. Hope to see you again soon. Uh, let me go have a look. Tactics My instructor, learn tactics. Yeah, Caspar, Dorothea, Pet... Oh, Petra is done as well. So it's only Monica, Dorothy, and Caspar. I think we can fix that. I'll surely put this one step at a time. Spoiled me. I thought you liked the bolt used to cursed weapons. I'm not gonna use it if it go it's gonna deter me from, like... One step at a time. ...getting my S ranks on a normal... Basis. Hey, look at that. Only thorns left on this rose. And Caspar. Hey, anything that makes me stronger. Hey, anything that makes me stronger. And now Yordi is broke again. Don't neglect your daily studies. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. <sighs> oh, my back. I forgot to set up the silver shields. Uh, 
Everything has its use. Okay, uh, there are still a few things that I need to, like, get for well, lower rarities, right? The Veteran training gear, six. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Veteran training gear, six. Everything has its use. Eh. Same location. To assist with any matters regarding the facilities. Boom. That one is done. Uh, tactics. Nine standard combat manuals. Let me know if I may be of further service. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Nine. Everything has its use. Allow me to assist with any matters regarding the facilities. Probably want to upgrade as much as possible. Blacksmith. He has seven arts and smith sets. Let me know if I may be of further service. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. Allow me to assist with any matters regarding the facilities. What else? Recreation area is done. Marketplace is done. No, not yet. Marketplace still needs 10. Italian guild is done. Supply Depot is done. Okay. Uh, let me finish Blacksmith. That's the last one. Let me know if I may be of further service. I need P. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. You already need toilet time very, very soon. Everything has its use. Allow me to assist with any matters regarding the facilities. Oof. So all that's left is the marketplace, this one. Merchant's license. Let me know if I may be of further service. Just because I want to finish it, let's see. Supplies are the lifeblood of any Resource army. I have. oh. Wait, we can get rid of the basic. Quality and lavish. These. The recruit. Beginner. Um, humble. Sutler is the lowest, I think. Storage bag. Just need Everything to check what. Uh, it's probably easier to just walk to the merchant over there. I carry a little of everything here. Merchant's license. It's all you need. Hope to see you again soon. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Ten. Everything has its use. A facility can now be expended. Extended, expanded. Here. 
Nice. Hope to see you again soon. Okay. Well, 50 minutes past one. Uh, 12. Midnight. Damn. Time moves fast when you're having fun! Right, guys, gals, ladies, and gents? Guys, gals, ladies, and gents, thank you all very much for hanging out with me tonight. We'll be back tomorrow. Again, we'll be continuing the Scarlet Blaze. I have no idea how far to the end we're getting. The campaign for a Dynasty Warriors type game, for a Musou game, a Warriors game, is very slow and I do not necessarily disapprove of it, but might want a little bit more speed in it somewhere around here. Uh, but yeah. Thank you all very much for hanging out with me tonight. I hope you'll see you all soon again. Sleep well, sweet dreams, adios, and good night.